then I'm kicking the Lone Ranger, cool, wet, danger. Move in the dark with the art, to what they drop, to part the bando, too hot to handle your battle. You say goodbye, like Devin Campbell, what next? Inspect the decks on the set, the metal, I make more noise than heavy metal. The way I make the crowd go wild, sit back, relax, don't smile. Ray got it going on, pal, call me the rap assassinator. Rhymes rugged and built like Schwarzenegger, and I'ma get mad deep like a threat. Blow up your project, then take all your assets, cause I came to shake the frame and half with the thoughts that ball. Shit like that, so what you wanna try to flip, go flip on the next man, cause I'll grab the flip and hit you with 16 shots and more I got. Going to war with the melting pot, ah. It's the method man for short, Mr. Map. Move it on your left, ah. And show it all, get it off, let it off like a cat. I wanna break food, cop me back. Small change, and put a chain in the game. I take game, and blow that nigga out the frame, and like bang. Can I get a soul? Enough respect due to the one six fool. I mean, oh, yo, check out the bro like the hunts on BCP when I'm dusting. Think it's all because I'm hot like sauce. The smoke from the lyrical part make me, uh, oh, oh. grab my nut, it's cool. Ow, it comes my sound, it's now. So beat as bubbly, why you? Two by two with the. With the worst, I'll be sick of in your head like a fucking earth. I'll attack any nigga who's slack in this map. Come fully packed with the fat bucket stack. Fame on you when you step through two. The whole dirty bastard, straight from the Brooklyn Zoo. And I'll be damned if I let any man come to my center. You hit up the winter, straight up and down after the pack game. You can't slam, don't let me get fooled over, man. The old dirty bastard is dirty and sick and ain't some unique rolling with the knife of the creek. Niggas be rolling with the stash, ain't saying, can't yeah, fight my style. I'll fight your motherfucking ass. Let's <laughs> go. 
afternoon At the party when I move my body Gotta get up to see somebody Drive the back of all the strength To the bone dan 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 Until the whole thing go Go and up when I rock that stuff up Fuck, I'm gonna get your buck up Fuck, you can rhyme like Jim Kelly Or Alex Kelly I'm a milk beetle belly rhymes Come and roll style Hardcore Niggas be coming to the hip hop store No man never goes to read from me No 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 be a hip hop MC The law ain't no other end to the whole thing You must bring the whole dirty bastard type slang Represent the jizzle Have it What's up? Shot corn It's best Deck Dirty hole getting low with his flow Introduced in the ghost Face The Method Man. Band. Sam, Sam I am. Green eggs and ham. Wham and goddamn. Living you from every angle. I am. Method Man. Ladies and gentlemen, coming to you live from my humble streams, and I'm out here in Los Angeles, California. It's me. And I'd like to wish you a very hearty. Hey, doll. I got myself a 40, I got myself a shorty, and I'm about to go and stick it. Yes, I'm about to go and stick it. What's up, everybody? Saturday vibes. That's for a cool. I just played four hours of pickleball. Are you still going to buy new headphones? Yeah, I haven't decided which ones yet, though. Four hours of pickleball. Played pretty good. Um, went out last night. Watched women's final four. Caitlin Clark heads, where you at? Now I'm eating a turkey BLT, truffle french fries, potato chips. And life is good. Drinking an Arnold Palmer. How is pickleball? Bro, I'm so fucking good at pickleball. I'm so nasty at that game. Rip diet? Nah, 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 nah. After you play that much, like if you do that much athletics, you have to put calories back in your body. I probably burned 2,000 calories. I played like seven games of pickleball. on places to eat if you are there. Hey, well, I'm at Philly this weekend. Oh. Or if you've never been to Philly before, the most classic thing you can do, other than just get really good food, because Philly actually has really good food. But if you want to be a fucking tourist, which you are, go have fun. Go to Pat's and Gino's. They're like, Two of the best cheesesteak places. They aren't. Philly has a bunch of secret cheesesteak places. But for the whole sake, 
They're really good cheesesteaks. And you can compare them because one is like whiz style where they put the spray cheese and the other one's like melted old school. Gino's like the new school. Pat's is like the old school. Get one of each, compare them. And that's like a very, you decide where you are in the debate. I'm a Pat's guy. Have you seen the drama with the final four call? The final foul? And the Caitlin Clark one? That was a moving screen. I mean, it's a shitty time to call it, but that was a moving Whoa, screen. That's for a cool. Yee Clip and Haw, 37 month the ruse. Here's the thing. It's a tough call because it was a penalty, but there's no way you should call that. There's no way you should call that in the last minute of a game. You got to let them play. Like, if the other girl was pulling up for a shot, I get it. But if you're just, if they're just dribbling the ball around, you can't, you can't call that right then. So it's tough. Because, yes, it was a penalty, but, like, why would you call that right? Why would you end the game with that? Things about Will Neff. Will Neff is, you know, not only one of the most talented and funny content creators on the platform, but off camera, the dude is nothing but he's a kind soul. He's, he's a showman at heart, and he's one of the kindest souls I've ever met. In my entire oh, life. Yeah, wow. That's and so I would, cool. I'll be honest, I would do anything for this man because he is a class act. He is a pillar of what it means to be a kind man amongst a lot of, you know, L.A. fakeness. Yep. With that being said, let's watch this clip. I'm excited. Will talked about me. Let's take a look. Exercise wears the poor guy out. Excellent. I will start drawing out a basic strategy based on the current temperature, the wind condition, and the coefficient of refraction for the playing surface. Jesus Christ. We got fucking pay money, Wubby. <laughs> Exercise wears the poor guy out. <laughs> I can't say enough good things about <laughs> Will Neff. <laughs> That's for a cool. Bobby, I'm sorry, bro. Hot sauce. I'm sorry. Bottles in like a week. I'm sorry. Someone in chat said it and I thought it was too funny to let go. Someone in chat wrote, all caps, pay money, Wubby. Hey. If it makes you feel any better, you're carrying my baseball team right now. You have three solo homers that are keeping us alive. Oh my god. I am like piggishly, sloppishly eating this food. I'm so hungry. This is my only meal of the day. By the way, guys, I fucking love Pay Money Wubby. Um I think he's I think he's maybe the funniest guy on the platform, so. As I've said, I think we got some secrets also coming your way soon, but uh, I love the guy. Will Neff is, you know, not... How did that clip... How did that clip make it to him? You fucking rats. Enough about pay money, Will, but you fucking rats. Mm. Bro, you know when you haven't eaten in so long and you're so hungry? You know what I feel like right now? Remember when you were like 10 years old, you get done with the recess and you would just hammer fucking like two burgers at the cafeteria? 
That's where I am right now. Oh, yeah, wow. That's I just hung up 27 touchdowns in touch football. Kids had recess before lunch. Oh, yeah, wow. What That's the fuck? What does that have to do with well? Hey, baby. In my school, there was two recess periods. One group went before, and one group went after. That's it. It wasn't that special. It's just so they didn't have all the kids in the fucking cafeteria at the same time. It ain't that deep. But you better believe I was I was putting down a hundred soft pretzels a year. <laughs> oh yeah, wow, that's for cool. That was some rich kid shit I did. Spend a dollar on a hot pretzel. Oh, yeah, wow. That's very cool. Dude, that, that hot pretzel for a dollar? Oh, my God. That shit was fire. That sando looks gorgeous. Yeah, I ordered from one of my favorite spots. What was this? Oh, yeah, wow, that's very cool. You're not supposed to be parked here. This is my parking space. No, you can park anywhere you want, love. I live here. No, there's lots of other spaces for you to park in. I, no, I've been parking in this space for the past 10 years. I live here. <laughs> so do I. Well, this is still my space. Okay. So you can use one of those. Yeah, but so can you. Uh, excuse me. I mean, do you know who my boyfriend is? is your boyfriend? Do you have any idea who my boyfriend is? <laughs> what is your boyfriend? He's Kyle Smith. <laughs> Why are you laughing? That's so disrespectful. You obviously don't know him. Kyle? Do you? Who's Kyle? He is the Kyle Smith. And if you don't move from my Who's parking Kyle? space... What? what? Is that Kyle over there? Uh, <laughs> if you don't move from here, okay, he is going to come down here and make you move. If you know what's good for you, Kyle, you're not going to let me do that. Kyle, what's Kyle going to do, love? What's, what, what's Kyle going to do? You obviously, you obviously don't know what you're talking about. Well, I don't know what I'm talking about. Who's Kyle, Kyle Smith? The Kyle, the Kyle Smith. Smith. Sorry, love. All right. There's only one. The Kyle I'm Smith. I'm sure there's my one. boyfriend. And if you can see <laughs> me arguing with you here, he's going to come down and smash <laughs> in at the very, very least. <laughs> Kyle, love. 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 Don't call me love. Why? Because that's disrespectful. All right. And I'm a, you, you're a stranger. Okay. My boyfriend calls me love. All right. Well, that's Darling, good for Kyle. Babe, whatever. Okay. Well, you that's don't. good for Kyle, love. All right. All right, love. No, don't call me love. Just move your two-bit car over there. This still has a minute left? This engagement is insane. Get out of my space. Because I've parked her for the past 10 years. Okay, you haven't been now. here for 10 years. Yeah, no, I've not been here for Exactly. 10 years. So move your car. This is my space. Is it your space or is it Kyle's space? It's my space. Okay. 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 My boyfriend. Okay, the, I don't want your boyfriend. Yeah, the, the Kyle, Kyle Smith. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he Kyle. won't even park it. That laugh makes the whole thing. His car here because he knows it's my space. <laughs> Kyle. L little boy Kyle. You don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what I'm talking about. No, absolutely. Well, I'm glad you've admitted it. Well, obviously not, if you don't know who Kyle Smith is, <laughs> you don't even know what your own name is. Well, I, well I, obviously I know what my name is, love. I just don't know who Kyle is. I don't believe you ask, you, you actually don't know who he is. I don't know who he is, love. Who is he, who is he, love? Is he a famous dart player? I mean, I'm, I'm... Does he work for Greg's? I don't know who he is. 
Oh my god. He won't believe it either when I tell him. What tell Look, him what? Do me a favour. Is he a dart player, love? Does he play darts? He's a professional. You don't want to know what <laughs> else. All right. He's a professional. You professional don't... boy, Kyle. No, you don't want to know what he's a professional of. Just know, <laughs> for your own safety, for my own safety yeah. he Kyle, is yeah. the... Kyle Smith. Kyle Smith. Move your car, okay? Kyle. Or else what, Kyle's going to come in. Oh, yeah, he is, and I'm just going to go get him. Okay? Go get By him the up. time I come back with him, you'd better be moved from here. Or else what? <laughs> What's his name again? <laughs> Watch my mouth. Watch my lips. The Kyle Smith. <laughs> Is there a part two to that? I really want there to be a part two to that. Is Kyle Smith actually like a personality or is she just crazy? The Kyle Smith? No way. Kyle Smith. Nothing comes up. Fake and bad. You think that's fake? The Kyle Smith. Smith. Sorry, love. Right. There's only one, the Kyle. Smith. I don't know, ma'am. I, she might be one of the best undiscovered actresses of our time. If that was fake, she sold the shit out of that. Joe is hungry. What's up, Joe? Joe, I'm eating right now, baby. I'm eating from one of my favorite places in Los Angeles. Oh, yeah, wow. That's very cool. Thanks for the content. Dialogue Cafe. I got the BLTA oh, wow. with cool. green tomatoes, the truffle salt oh, french yeah, wow. fries, for cool. and a that. bag of kettle extra crispy. Ow. Joe needs to try lobster pizza. <laughs> Joe ain't ready for that. Bro. Nandre, I broke out laughing last night because I went to the nice guy. Nice guy is a kind of nice restaurant in LA. And I asked their specials and she dead ass said, and we have a delicious lobster pizza. And I broke out at the table laughing. I was like, God, I wish Nandre was here. I'd make him eat it. <laughs> Bro, Joe, you gotta try it. This BLT egg is so good. They put, it's gonna sound crazy. They put some like raisins in the mayonnaise to add sweetness. And they use green tomatoes, and it just hits, bro. Mm. Lost me at raisins. It's like a craisin. It's so good. Trust, trust, trust. Roll for sandwich type shit? Nah. A craisin to add sweetness? It's like cranberry sauce on a sandwich. It goes crazy. It goes nuts. Y'all need to expand that palate a little bit. Oh, yeah, wow. That's very cool. Almost two years with this glorious man. There's some extra melty cheese. Oh, my God. It's almost like brie, the way that cheese and citrus goes together. Guys, I haven't broken my diet in a while, so I'm about to come right now. <laughs> the Toronto Honor uh, Raptors honoring Vince Carter's induction to the... Dude, can I say something? I'm going to say something real. Oh, yeah, wow. That's very cool. Of every team ever, the Raptors need to go back to their throwback logo and uniform. 
yesterday. This era, Toronto Raptors is one of the sickest jerseys. It goes so stupid. That and the Bucks creamsicle. Oh my God. Insane. OG Hornets is sick. OG Hornets is crazy. So is Trailblazers when they had the pink. Ugh. The old Pistons logo used to go hard. Oh, fuck yeah. Where is that shit? Where's the trailblazers with like the pink? I can't even find it. It's pink and orange. That shit was banana wax. Oh yeah, wow. That's for cool. How's it going? Nephisto. I can't even find it. I will say this shit goes so crazy. One of the sickest logos of all time. The fucking Mustang with the tailpipes. I, I'm actually done eating now. I promise. I just ate for 27 minutes on stream. Top two NBA jerseys of all time. Let me take a look. Bad request. Feels bad. Surprise second sandwich, dude. I would actually pass out. Oh my God. Green tea, Arnold Palmer. Oh, my God. Oh, guys, that was ecstasy. I was just I was just on another planet right then. Woo. God, that's such an L.A. thing to say here for the net vibe. My my cheat meal was a BLTA with truffle french fries and a green tea on an old bummer. But it just slapped so hard. Oh, yeah. Where's our own farmer from? The sandwich place? Yeah, they make it special. They make it especiales. Family comes first. Old boy and dog tooth. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. That's a whole different meaning. That's spelled with a C-U-M. Wow. Very very good. This is this has been lovely. Thank you. I know a bunch of us we have it on the iPads and the laptops in the office. Oh, you're watching. Okay, a lot of things I say, I'm joking, by the way. No, 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 just no. so they can be entertaining. I'm sorry. No, no, please. Yeah. Um, last time I checked in, like, you were at like, a, a diner with your partner or something. Like, yep. So I was like, this is real. You know, so I appreciate that. Oh, I love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Enjoy, gentlemen. Yeah, thank you so much. I see what they're watching. Yep. I have been off the chain tonight. See her. I have been That's off the scary. chain. That's scary. No. They're watching. They're watching. They're watching. Yeah, but they're... Yep. Your actions have repercussions. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.
<laughs> Shouldn't have said that about their oysters, dude. <laughs> um, oh, thank you for those bits. The most American thing I've seen. Oh, There's no way. Sandwiches, Baron of Bagels. Mm, I yeah. come before you to ask for the gift once more. I have a turkey and brie sandwich with cranberry sauce, rocket and avocado. Mm. What chip to pair with this offering? Mm. Your will is our will, our man. Mm. 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 Well... The gift is, it's interesting right now because you've said something that I can't unhear. You called it Rocket, which makes me think that you're from the UK. So many of my crisp suggestions won't cross the pond. And so for you, I'll have to recommend a UK crisp because of the turkey. I would go with a Frazzles crispy bacon. Oh. oh my God. <laughs> Holy shit, the gift is real. Have you considered plantain chips? I like plantain chips. Plantain chips go with a very specific sandwich, a sandwich that needs sweet. Plantain chips actually go crazy on a Cubano because I'm probably already eating plantains too, but there are better chips for that. The lion, let it shine Just throw in the night Like a boat of July It's a fucking boy Bro, you could Oh, that's for a cool Hey, now Could have bought a house for this, I bet What the fuck is the budget? That's what I'm saying Also when someone said this was the most American thing they had ever seen, I thought that they were just going to drop a blue bomb somewhere in the background. <laughs> Dude, this song goes so crazy. <laughs> Even if you don't like it, you like it. There's no way not to get caught up in that song. It shine just on the night. You ever seen this classic? Let me take a look. Guys, I'm vibing so hard right now. Nike Reebok. Are those Nike? Are those Reebok or Nike? Hilarious. What is this? <laughs> Sí, bueno, Brea. Hey, ¿quién anda ahí? Arturo Merán. Arturo, ¿de dónde, brother? Estamos aquí de Salcedo. Ah, de Salcedo. Saludos para toda mi gente de, de Salcedo. La gente buena del Cibao. Brother, cuéntamelo todo. Saluda a tu gente. No, no, yo lo que quiero pedir a ver si tú me pones una canción. Eh, claro que sí, mi brother, la que tú digas. Sí, yo quiero que tú me pongas la canción que dice, ¿esos son Ribu o son Nike? ¿Esos son Ribu? O son Nike. Sí, eh, sí. Pero, ¿cómo se llama? ¿Cómo se llama? Son Ribu o son Nike. ¿Eso son Ribu o son Nike? Eh, eh. A ver, compláceme, que me gusta mucho esa canción. Está muy pegada esa canción. ¿Eso son Ribu o son Nike? De, eh, eh, ¿Será esta, brother? ¿Será esta? Esa misma, ve, esa misma. No, no, no. Será esta. This is the rhythm of 
Esta es misma, ¿verdad? Is it the rebound of the night? All night. Oh, yeah. Esa es misma, ¿eh? Unreal. Unreal. That DJ is such a homie for pulling that. Hay que complacerlo. Oh, yeah. The rhythm of my life. Bam. 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 Are those Reeboks or are they Nikes? Wow. That fucking rules. He pulled that straight out of that man's head. Yeah, dude, that was actually that was actually goaded. You gotta play it now, Will. Please, you want you want rhythm of the night. This is the rhythm of the night. Oh, night. Oh yeah. The rhythm of the night. This is the rhythm of my life. La gente es tan loca. Vamos, 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 ok. This is why you're my streamer, because I can pretend to be a, a Latin DJ with only like three words of Spanish in my vocabulary. Ah, mi corazón en fuego. Vamos, 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 amigo. Ja, 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 ja. Si, si. <laughs> Don't Will's parents speak Spanish? They do. That's how they tell secrets to one another. Why did they learn it? Well, uh, my mom was a Spanish teacher at one point. And my dad lived in Colombia for like a decade. With his with his first wife. <laughs> Drug lord? <clears throat> no, he had a poultry farm actually. CIA Nepo, baby. He wasn't even in the CIA at that point. I love how people think I'm a Nepo baby. My dad was in the CIA when like JFK was in office. <laughs> I, he, did, he doesn't, he didn't have any pull by the time I came around. My brothers, I'm sure got help, but uh, they were both, they basically both killed themselves. So fat lot of good it did them. Your dad killed JFK? Uh, maybe, I don't know. Don't ask so many fucking questions. Yeah, I love that. I love that the CIA actually scares people. It's like, oh my God. Will's dad was in the CIA? I wonder what he did for him. My dad's 92. He was almost off. He was almost off hard food by the time I was born. Chill the fuck out. I went to an in-state liberal arts school where I got a fucking partial tennis scholarship. <laughs> I wasn't. I wasn't fucking. 
<laughs> oh my god, I was a big time Nepo baby. To be fair, <clears throat> I'll be fair, I could have gone to Cornell for squash, not because I was a Nepo baby, because I was good at sports, and my mom begged me not to go. She said, if you go to an Ivy League school, you'll be an asshole. There you go. <clears throat> Cornell, where and went? Where Andy went? Who's Andy? Oh, Andy from the office. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Squash scholarship. I, I never even talked to them. They wanted me to come play squash and I never even talked to them. I was one of the better squash players in the nation at one point. But the cool thing about squash is that only like 10 people play squash. So as long as you can beat like two of them, you're one of the best in the nation. <laughs> it was really easy. <clears throat> So CIA placed you next to Hassan in case they want to assassinate him. No, dude, if the CIA had any contact with me, they would love Hassan. Because if they're like conservatives think that Hassan is turning their kids trans so that the CIA can actually do <laughs> insidious shit while Hassan gets blamed for it. Hank made the kids gay. Yeah. Yep. Hassan made your kids trans. He, he had them join a union and then they wanted to cut their dicks off. I've seen it a hundred times. You get that health insurance makes you crazy. Makes you want to cut your dick off. That's why I never had insurance. Um... It's that Femboy Friday with my brother in Christ. It's fucking Saturday. <laughs> it's Femboy Friday every day of the week. Dude, I it was so funny. My my one buddy called uh our mutual friend and I did like my <laughs> my like slutty girl voice. <laughs> and my man had no idea. When we got to the club, he was like, yo, where's that girl Courtney? I was like, dog, that was me. And he was like, what? And I was like, yeah. Because I was like, hi, Jacob, what's up? I hear you have blue hair and you're kind of gay. <laughs> and he was like, oh, shit. So you're coming out with, with Jake? What's up? And I was like, yeah. I want to meet you. I'm so excited. I hear you're hilarious. And he like said something. I was like, ah, see? All right, I'll see you then. He thought he was getting his dick sucked for real. It's tough out in these streets. <laughs> dude for the rest of the night he was like where's courtney man where is she and i was like listen dude <laughs> if, if you want me to throw you a sympathy bj yeah at times is tough out here i got you but <laughs> um can you do lumpy space princess oh my hang on <clears throat> What's the password, please? Whatever's 2009. That's where Brad and I used to eat cheese dogs. So this is going to get really emotional. I fucking love Lumpy Space Princess. Lumpy, I know probably 20 or 30 Lumpy Space Princesses in my life. Whatever, it's 2009. <laughs> oh my God. In my club, you guys. They should make Lumpy Space Princess her own show. I would I would watch a Lumpy Space Princess show. Uh, my club. 
They all just want my lumps. Full angle. Billy Starks pretends to break her neck. The entire arena is in shock and dead silent. The doctor comes and stabilizes her neck. And then, wait, what pretends to break her neck? Fuck you. Oh. Okay. Oh, going up top, maybe look for that swan dive. Advance to the tournament. Oh, oh knees to the neck. Knees to the neck. She's calling. She's calling. She's, uh, She's calling. Uh, that's that spirit. My God. Huh? The knees. Minata is separated here from Mike Posey. And it is Aminata who has got to be feeling a million emotions right now. Maybe sympathy, maybe uh, maybe regret. May, uh, Billy Starks is, is, is it's def definitely a serious situation here. You, def you don't want anybody to get hurt. You can see the neck. Uh, and Billy Starks, oh. Nigel, just absorbing those blows, those shots, those kicks. This is yeah. Clear evidence here. You say what you want about professional wrestling. But any time, any moment, it must be the end of someone's career. Let's hope not. Man, she's so young, Billy Starks is. And you don't want to see anything like this happen to somebody this early in a career. Your promising career. What the fuck is going on here? There's medical staff in the world are going to take care of Starks, and if this one has to end like this. For the future of this young competitor. Well, I see the fingers moving, which generally is a, is a good sign. Good sign. I mean, not a patiently waiting. This match is over. Let's, let's not, let's not mix and, our words about yeah, this. I, I'm just, at this point, Nigel, I, you know, I, I don't want to see this back. That'll continue. I, the, at least the fingers are moving. There's some movement. Doc Sampson has seen that Billy Starks is able to I just, at I just, least try and, and, and stand. I just want to see her get to her feet. I just yeah. want to see her stand on her own. Oh, hopefully it was a, a stinger of some sort. Hopefully. Mm -hmm. And and Aminata. Yes. Helping her out. Yeah. Great, great, great sportsmanship. Yeah, absolutely. What the hell? Oh, starts with. She pulled us off. Sleeper locked in! That's it deep in the middle of the ring. What the hell was Never this? I'm mean, enough to go. The heart, I mean, that is out of shutting. There's no way! I'm an honest out! I'm an honest out! Wow. Wow. I'm not gonna lie. They shouldn't do that. Ring of Honor should not do that. It's a, it. I, I get that it's a funny gimmick, but it's a bad gimmick, bro. It's a bad gimmick. People really get hurt wrestling all the time. And like, you just never want to create a situation that's more dangerous. So like, you know, if that happens in a future match with that wrestler... And for some reason, a paramedic responds more slowly because they think, oh, it's, you know, a part of her act. Or even if they pre-plan it, I don't, I don't think that is something you should do. I do not think that is something you should do. Like, obviously, you can fake an injury. They do it all the time. Like, but that level of bracing the neck and, and I don't know. I'm a stud. No backboard I'm present. Stud. I know, I but from anyone. Uh, it's Will, just. I heard you were claiming you have no idea who I am. How is that possible? I am he. I am him. One second. My girlfriend is yelling at. The oh no! Man. The Kyle Smith is here. Great then. No love. The toaster does not know who I am. Good God! It's the Kyle Smith. He found us. This guy is omnipresent. I don't know how he found us, but he found us. It very similar to the Outsiders track where I'm deep into drugs and they pull this. What? 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 Ladies and gentlemen, can I have your attention, please? I'm sorry, but the police are here. They've asked us to stop the party. 
fuck off. That's sick. That's like three seconds. That's a good debate. That is a good debate. Because no one's life is in jeopardy there. Also, I'm going to say something else. A lot of kids watch wrestling. There was probably some like 12 year olds who were like, oh my God, her neck is broken. Ain't no 12 year olds at a fucking boiler room set. I'm sorry, but the police are here. They've asked us to stop the party. Fuck off. Are you going to Coachella or EDC this year? Both. I'm going to go to Coachella and sweat. <laughs> I'm going to sweat. We need jungle, I'm afraid. Roblox, oof. Oh my God, it's happening. They're finally here. Hyper sexual zombie cicadas that are infected with se sexually transmitted fungus expected to emerge this year. What does that mean? All right, we will soon be hearing a lot more of that. According to experts, 2024 will be the year of the cicada with upwards of 1 trillion expected to emerge this spring. Joining us now to discuss it is Catherine Dana, cicada, cicada expert with the Illinois Natural History Survey at the University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign. Catherine, thank you for joining us. How is 2024 different from other years when cicadas emerged? Uh, you know, I've been looking forward to this for many years now. Do bugs disgust you? Not cicadas. I don't know why. I I'm chill with cicadas. I think it's because I grew up on the East Coast where we had cicadas all the time. So cicadas never bothered me. They're like, they're actually kind of cute in a weird way. Um, but spiders, I don't fuck with spiders. I don't like them. I don't want to like them. I don't like them around. I made peace. I had bad arachnophobia. I made peace with my arachnophobia. I did. But I still don't like those motherfuckers. I'm kind of like Clint Eastwood at the end of Gran Torino. And I mean, he's no longer a racist, but he still doesn't want him on his goddamn lawn. I don't, I don't, I'm not racist against spiders. I just don't want him around. Um, is two different broods emerging in Illinois. So this is Illinois' big year, really. Um, and these two broods have not emerged at the same time uh, for 221 mm. years. Based. So no matter where you go in Illinois, it's going to be hard to escape huh. the cicadas. Why? What makes that, Catherine? Because I, it feels like we've heard in years past this is going to be a big year for cicadas. Yeah. You hear every 200 years. What makes this so rare? Um, it's these two particular broods. So we have cicada broods that emerge every 17 years, and we have cicada broods that emerge every 13 years. Mm. Um, and, and they go sank across up. the U.S. and visit a brood um, almost every year. Uh, we do it as a family vacation most years. So some <laughs> years it's Pennsylvania, some years it's New York. Um, but this year we don't have to go. See, they're cute. Because these two broods are going to be right here. They're cute. Um, Look at them. Most of the state. And it's the fact that these two broods are happening um, right at the same year, that's really unique, and they're horrifying. They ain't horrifying. They don't even have mouths. And there's going to be a small area that bro. Two think about this bug for a second. Think about this bug for a second. They don't even really like eat. They come out of their ground and they are alive to fuck. This is the fuck bug. They don't give a shit about biting you. They don't give a shit about eating. They don't give a shit about anything but fucking. So I'm, I think that's based. Because I know he's not going to fuck me, so he, he, cicadas don't care. It's the same year that's really unique and that these two broods have different life cycles. And there's going to be a small area that these two broods overlap. 
Hmm. So most of the state, but is there an area where they will be most heavily concentrated? Um, so in areas where there are older stands of trees, yes. Um, but that's the Bro, they will swarm you and you can literally drown in them. No, you can't. <laughs> literally grew up with cicadas you're absolutely lying there's nothing truthful to what you're saying best way to know if you're going to be in one of those really dense areas is to look at some of the maps that they have online university of connecticut has been tracking this for decades now um there's also an app called cicada safari oh record where you see cicadas have you seen mayfly hatches we get mayflies all the time in in uh michigan Mayflies, they're more sad because they all die while they're like attached to something. So you have to go and like peel them all off, um, which is sad. Coming out um, and look at where other people have seen them as well. So it's a good way to kind of get an idea of where the really dense areas are going to be. What but is Cicada, or Chicago is going to be pretty intense. Okay. What, what is the impact of this, Catherine? I mean, do they eat plants? We see this video of them on plants and in trees. Uh, our gardens, or is there any uh, significant impact that we need to be aware of here? Dogs also will eat cicada, melts and fuck up their stomachs. Not my dog. I can't even get him to eat puppuccinos anymore. Fucking bougie little bastard. I have to chew his turkey for him. I like to think of cicadas as soil aerators, right? They're making holes in the ground when they come out. Um, they do feed on plants, but uh, they have a straw-like proboscis, so all they're doing is drinking some plant juices. They really don't do much damage to the plant themselves. The thing that you have to worry about is just young fruit trees. And if you're planting any young fruit trees this year, you're going to want to make sure that... Do you mama bird Farley? No, I, I have to like cut up his turkey really fine and put it in his food. Sometimes when I'm lazy, I'll just chew it and spit it in his food. <laughs> covered with... Milk. When I don't feel like using a knife. The other thing that's great for uh, a lot of our, our plants out there is that you're going to have a lot of fertilizer after these guys are done. Mm. There's going to be a lot of dead cicadas rotting on the ground um but that's oh, gonna yeah. help <laughs> eat up, eat up the community. amazing word. food processor listen bro if if it's like the middle of the night and i'm about to go to bed i'm not firing up the food processor okay and he's hitting his fucking bowl i'm chewing up a piece of turkey and i'm spitting it in some kibble all right i'm sorry you might not agree with my lifestyle but sometimes you got to cut corners provide nutrients for our our trees and all of our plants all right Catherine dana Thank you so much for joining us, and ha have a great vacation. <laughs> <laughs> thanks so I much. It's to be a staycation, it sounds me. like, yeah. All right, thanks, Catherine. The Middle East, no stranger to conflict and... Listen, the only reason I do that is because he has his underbite, so he doesn't chew food. He, like, Farley literally won't chew food because of his teeth. He just puts it in his mouth and <clears throat> hard swallows it. So, it, like... If it's anything bigger than a certain size, he'll just be like, what? It's how he chooses to live. He just, he's just different, bro. I don't, I don't know what to tell you. He just lives his life different. His little bro inbred. No, he just got a fucking underbite, man. So inbred? No, 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 no. A bunch of multi poos have underbites. It's in the breed. Chat is extra ruthless today. No, they're just trying to be mean. It's fine. Uh, oh, wow. Preview of Trent Reznor and Atticus Rose score for the Challengers. That movie looks so weird to me. <laughs> Just watched Dune 2 and it's masterpiece. Bro, why does this feel like a Grand Torino select screen? Circuit race. Garage. This movie looks like a banger. Really? I think this movie looks horrible.
I'm going to keep it a whole ass dollar. This movie looks like trash. Um, I, uh, I'm going to get another fucking, uh, drink. Do not come. Uh, Yeah, that movie is about like how Zendaya has a three-way with two tennis players and then like starts dating one of them and he's playing tennis against the other one and they like have a big match. (laughs) I'm going to be honest, like uh, if you meet your significant other during a three-way and you're not totally sure about it, she's full of the streets. (laughs) Listen, I'm pretty progressive, but that's a hard place to start a dating relationship. I got nothing wrong with three ways, but if you meet in one. That's hard to be like, yo, after uh, he leaves, you want to you get some coffee? Then you can see it right there, the suspect trying to get into somebody's property or still trying to hide, but uh, doing a very, huh. very poor job of it right there. LAPD coming to a stop. Oh, come on, guys. He's right there. Uh, the, the officer's running right by him. They're, they're going right by him. Uh, our, 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 I'm sorry, uh, Angie, our pilot today, talking on O2, trying to tell the officers that this suspect is right there. And, uh, and again, you just saw that. Oh, my goodness. I just feel so bad for those officers making their way back now it's the blue car there we go somebody's getting somebody's getting the information somebody's got to be getting the information. keep coming around and keep coming around keep coming around that <sighs> aspect, unbelievable that we're watching this live and you have to understand that these officers they don't know what the information that we know but again that LAPD helicopter just arriving there you go some of those officers must be getting that information there you go there you go. And now that suspect going into custody. Wow. Wow. And they haven't seen him yet. This is unbelievable. There we go. <sighs> and I would have gotten away with it, too, if it wasn't for that darn helicopter. If it wasn't for that dang helicopter. To you while you live in I just the pissed house. my brothers off even more. Whoa, what the fuck? What? What is this, this, bro? Why is she running like that? What is this? Is this AI? I saw this on the timeline at another point, but seriously, how did... how did this do this? Oh, yeah, wow. That's for a cool. Neck King. It's old as fuck. 
Yeah, okay. So what the fuck? Bri saw this? This actually made me fucking angry. What the fuck, Twitch? I don't even know what to say. This is fucking, what the hell? This is like if Twitch hosted a big penis contest and didn't invite Emmanuel Ferreira. It's like, what are we doing, guys? You're not going to include the guy on your platform that does this for a living? I, I was just kind of like, God darn it, man, feels bad. All right. I don't know if you know this, but the uh, CEO called me the watch party guy. Oh, what CEO? Oh, yeah, wow. The CEO of your company. <laughs> man. Whatever. Hurt my feelings. Maybe they'll consider me next time. Hurt my feelings. Um. Oh yeah! Wow, that's for a cool yeah. I saw the trash bag package thief. Um. So who is Kyle Smith? Ooh, the Kyle Smith. Um, okay, but this is kind of dope. Now that we are doing Tanami film class, will we get more class where we analyze shots like the Kurosawa one? Well, I don't know how many shots we're going to be analyzing at all. Um, yeah, I mean, I, 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 hey, I thought we've been doing a pretty good job mixing in lesson with, with entertainment value. I guess I can do more to be like a teacher teacher, but I don't know beyond kind of like factoid and entertainment and, you know, teaching you guys a few basic things. Um, I don't know. I thought I did a good job. Oh? What the hell are you? Make me. I'm a vengeance. Make me. Yo, I don't know if anybody was watching Invincible. But if you are, how about the Spider-Man and Batman shout out in the last episode? Pretty fucking hype. By the way, if you haven't watched, that is not a spoiler by any means. It is not a spoiler by any means. There's two very obvious Easter eggs in the episode, and the Easter eggs are Spider-Man and, and Batman, so it's very cool. Is this a game? Like, you know? Gladiator 2? Oh, boy. What does this have to do with Gladiator 2? Codify baseball. <laughs> what the hell is that? What the hell? Did you send me the wrong link? <laughs> Did you mean to send me this? What we do in life echoes in eternity. Whoa. I'm ready. 
I hope it's good. If they ruin the legacy of one of my favorite movies ever, I will probably be a little upset. They will, will. Oh, no. Seeing a code red hit in an amateur wrestling match is wild. Wait, no way. Are you going to go one more time? Oh. No way! No way! He actually hit a fucking code red. Holy shit. Now we need to see someone hit a pedigree. Didn't someone in the UFC hit a Walls of Jericho in a match? Like a Boston Crab? Didn't that happen in the last few years? Yes, that's awesome. That is fucking awesome. The walls of Jericho, baby. <laughs> I know Rampage Jackson hit a power bomb. Yeah, bro. He was in uh, Pride and he fucking schlepped the guy with a power bomb. That was fucking crazy. Here it is. Walls of Jericho. Yes, dude. This dude hit a walls of Jericho in a match. How does this even happen? All right. Okay. So he's got the hooks in going the wrong way. He's got the hooks in. He grabs the ankle, looking for an ankle. And then he fucking locks it in. Oh, he's got it. the wall. And the wall to Jericho finishes it. By the way, if you don't know, that move, the Boston Crab is so fucking painful. It feels like your spine is going to snap. It is the worst pain. The Walls of Jericho is actually a real move. The Walls of Jericho is a is a modification of a Boston Crab. But that that was Walls of Jericho. The way he hit it with his like that was Walls of Jericho, baby. <laughs> the Lion Tamer. <laughs> Holy. Wasn't that a sharpshooter? That, that move has been used by a bunch of people. Hey, let me see the uh, video of the Walls of Jericho. Is the sharpshooter the exact same? Let me see. Here's a Walls of Jericho. Yeah, the Walls of Jericho, they turn their ass over. See, Jericho is being such a homie by staying this low. If Jericho elevated right now, he would put so much torque on this guy's lower back. Center of the ring, worst possible place you could be if you're Dean Ambrose. And then the sharpshooter is slightly different. I forget what's he might you might cross the legs, right? I think you cross the legs. Yeah, so you cross the legs. So it's a figure four, but you're standing. And then... This is the figure four, which is Ric Flair's move. So a sharpshooter is just this, but you're standing. Dude, the... The figure four is so sick. <laughs> if 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 as a preteen you didn't horribly injure your friends doing wrestling moves, I are, we can't relate in our upbringings. All 
I got choke slammed onto a chair and split the back of my head so bad. I got like 13 stitches in the back of my head. I thought I was going to die, bro. I have never leaked like that. I was just leaking blood, bro. Um, frog splash from the top bunk, bro. I've hit some, I've hit some mighty frog splashes. Why the fuck is chat saying rip Bret Hart? He's still alive. Yeah, guys, you're thinking of his, you're thinking of Owen. Wrong, wrong brother, dad. Wrong, brother, dad. <laughs> it's like the Hulk Hogan meme. I missed you, Bam. Wish you were still alive. I am. <laughs> I know this won't ever happen, but I won't complain if it did. Danny DeVito wants to star in the Batman film alongside Schwarzenegger. Wow. Wow. I listen, I think it would be a very cool nod. Um I think it would be a very cool nod if they put them in and I think there are two characters that they could put them in as and no one would bat an eye. They could put them in as one of Batman's oldest villains. They could put them in as Tweedledee and Tweedledum. If they were ever going to do the Mad Hatter, if you had these two as Tweedledee and Tweedledum, that would be fucking perfect. That would be, that would be, and like, listen, they, they don't have to be the main villain of the movie. They don't. They can be like one of those... Oop, wrong button, sorry. They can be like one of those cameo villains oh, wow, that's for a cool where like maybe the movie starts with him cleaning up the Mad Hatter and Tweedledee and Tweedledum. That would be awesome. That'd be awesome. I would love that. Clooney as the Mad Hatter cool and the two of them as Tweedledee and Tweedledum would be incredible. As a cameo, unreal. Oh yeah, wow. That's for a cool um, I miss baseball. You think Hollywood would be buy them as twins? Crazy talk. Well, I've got some shocking news for you. Thoughts on Shogun? Shogun is great. Mr. Freeze is supposed to be uber intelligent, isn't he? Tweedledee and Tweedledum are supposed to be idiotic comic relief, right? Yeah. But it's not the same role. It's it's like a cameo. The The reason it's funny... Okay, I'll fill you guys in on some lore. The reason it's funny is they've both played villains and they did this bit at the at the Academy Awards. And the reason they did it is because they made this movie once upon a time called Twins, where they played twin brothers. This is DeVito and Schwarzenegger. So if they came back as twins in Batman, because Tweedledee and Tweedledum are twins, it would be just such a funny reference it would be such like a funny like oh that's great and I, I i honestly think that kind of stuff in movies is like just like a really fun nod and the people that get it like get a real big kick out of it is that too much though it's a comic book movie not the entire two-hour runtime of batman doesn't need to be fucking nirvana tracks invoking you know, <laughs> something in the way. I 
I get it. Batman's sad. I get it. I liked it. It's dark. Yeah. I agree with that. I like that it's dark. I think that's fine. But there are a lot of dark movies that have like a moment of levity. <laughs> Having them on screen for like two seconds. Like think about it this way. You don't even have to like have them in the movie. If he's like sitting down with Commissioner Gordon and commissioner's like, there's been a wave of crime of the city. Look at all these nut jobs. And he's, you know, flipping through and it's Killer Croc and it's Victor Zaz. And then he flips to one and it says Tweedledee and Tweedledum. And it's these two fuckers mug shots in a movie. Like, that's just, that's like a perfect comic book. Like, That's the movie? No, that's that's that it's called a cameo. Okay? It's like 10 seconds of a film. Happens all the time. Yeah, that's the entire You got the case report, Batman? I do. All right, we'll see you next film. Get ready, it's going to be huge. All right, credits. I'm glad I got, I'm glad I got a great fucking workout because <laughs> if I wasn't relaxed today, it would be so fucking, ah! <laughs> re manic pixie dream girl. Is she cooking or just yapping? They want to date the like cool, hot, artsy, baddie girl. So what's your take? My take is that all guys think they want to date the like cool, hot, artsy, baddie girlfriend with like baby bangs and a bad father, but that's actually not the case at all. What all guys in New York want is to date the like candid girlfriend. You can trademark that. Candid girlfriend is a girl who's like five, five and a half, naturally thin, has mousy brown hair, no longer than shoulder length. She's like from New Hampshire, maybe studied art history. And I would say the biggest part of her personality is that she like loves pomegranate and her boyfriend thinks that's like- Bitch, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> She is not cooking shit. So quirky and adorable. 100% agree. She's never the like overt center of attention, but her boyfriend is always posting film photos of her. Hashtag 35 millimeter. Girl, who hurt you? Who hurt you? You are literally talking about a specific ex right now and her and his new girlfriend. That is 100% what is happening. On his Instagram story. And she's always just kind of like... The candid girl is the patient zero of the pick me girl. She's not even trying to be pick me. She just authentically has nothing going on in her brain. Girl? Pick me girl is a girl who pretends to be interesting and unique to get attention. This girl just has nothing going on in her brain. She like likes good pottery. <laughs> and so all guys want that? All guys want that because they can make a muse out of her. Also, this girl is always referred to as this one in the caption of the- Brother and sister. Who hurt you? You can just call out your ex by name. You can just call out your ex by name. Girl in the subway. Photo. Happy birthday to this one. And it's always like a photo of the back of her head. They're like in Tokyo on vacation in the spring. Do you know what I'm D Okay. Girl. Girl. Too specific. Too specific. You are literally talking about an ex. You are literally talking about an ex. The back of her head in Tokyo? What? No one can relate to that. No one can relate to that. Look at the mania in her eyes. Look at the wild mania. She's Facebook stalking her ex or Instagram stalking her ex. That is 100% what is going on. What are you? This one? What the fuck are you? That's not... The back of her head on Instagram in a photo, photo in Tokyo in the spring is not a shared experience. That's like, that's like me being like, 
everybody's had their heart broken by a girl named Chelsea Desposito, you know, who went to your high school in Blair Academy and grew up and was slightly better than you in your fucking science class. And you were always envious of her. And she dated your one friend, but you were really kind of bitter about it. And you guys would hang out, but it was always a little awkward. And you were like, come on, why don't you notice me? I, I this is so weird. It's like, girl. You're just ta- you're just talking about your experience. This is not a shared thing. Talking about, they like both love Japanese culture, but they're both white. I've really only seen her on like the third slide of like an IG photo dump on her boyfriend's Instagram. I would love to meet one of them. I'm a girl's girl. I want to see you up close. I want to touch your skin. I. She she just wants to kill her ex's new girlfriend. She literally said, "I want to wear your skin," or whatever she said. Her name's Emily. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay, dude. Uh-huh. Dude, she just gave up her shit. She just gave up her shit. There it is. She knows this girl. This is literally her ex's new girlfriend. That is fucking crazy. That's precog, bro. They're taking the hot men. That's I call I precog that a mile out because I'm gonna be honest. In New York, want is to date the like candid girlfriend. You can. Tr- she she was cooking there. I was like, okay, I'm I'm listening. Candid girlfriend, you got it. Go ahead, let's hear. Candid girlfriend is a girl who's like five five. Yeah, I love a petite girl. Let's see where else you go with this. Five five and a half, naturally thin, has mouse. Naturally thin. Oh, okay. Mousy brown hair. No longer than shoulder length. Oh, mousy, mousy brown. Oh, all right. Hair no longer than shoulder length. She's like from New Hampshire. From New Hampshire, maybe studied art. Dude, I never in my long-legged life have been like, guys, you know what I fuck? I just need a bitch from New Hampshire. (laughs) I've never, I've never said that. I have never in my life. My life, and I've never heard any of my bros, even at the most drunk, have been like, bro, I'm I'm just trying to fuck a girl from New Hampshire, bro. I'm trying to get that Hampshussy. That's for cool. What? A girl from, yeah, that's what I, no. Maybe studied art history, and I would say the biggest part of her personality is that she, like, loves pomegranate. Biggest part of her personality is she loves pomegranate. If you got hate in your heart, let it out. You just don't like Emily. It's fine. And her boyfriend thinks that's like... (laughs) It is really funny hearing a scorned woman try and describe what all men want. Yeah, men really want this fucking girl who has interest and blah, 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 blah. Dude. I, <laughs> come on. Just, just keep it real once. Just keep it real once. I, I would be totally in if she had just at one point snuck in like, she loves pomegranate. She's got nothing going on. Studied art history. She'll drink a lot of decaf coffee and she's got Fat fucking tits. I'd be like, okay. All right. I don't know which part got me, but there's something in there that I... Something in there is talking to me. (laughs) Do I like decaf coffee? No, that wasn't it. That wasn't it. (laughs) (laughs) Your PR team goes crazy. <laughs> Earthquakes suck. I bet your titties were bouncing so much though, were they? Ah, ha, ha, I'm just joking. Unless. <laughs> yeah, I texted all my exes in New Jersey and I was like, damn, I bet that earthquake made your titties bounce. That's crazy. I, I was just kidding. <laughs> I make a lot of money now. Did I mention that? 
Uh, shit. Um, I got to charge my phone. Caroline's having troubles with her flight. I got to make sure my phone is on. Oh! I'm over here squeaks in my dicks. I got no shit on my dicks. Right now I'm just squeaks my tip. I'm horny as fuck. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, my yeah. face like, yeah, I love no Oh, hang on. She just texted me. Shit. I'm over here, All right, guys. Caroline's my flight has been delayed like four hours. And she already like was pushing herself really hard this week. So she didn't have much sleep. And she's kind of like having one of those moments at the airport where she's like, I'm just going to fucking end it. <laughs> she's, she's not in a good place right now. And I was like, dude, if you need to just say, fuck it and come home. Um, Ooh, if he, if I know he'd be perfect for Batman, but how about this is the casting? My cat man. <laughs> hey, make a great cat man. One of the most, <laughs> one of the most obscure Batman <laughs> villains, cat man. Um, Nick can't handle trendy places. Yeah, I saw the clip how they were watching him and he was talking shit the whole time. That's so Nick. I wonder if Nick ever got his uh, hoodie I bought him. What is this? Before you watch this clip, I urge you, I beg you, please try to imagine the wrongest way to pronounce Siddiqui first because all of your hair will be blown off your head. <laughs> okay 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 i'm gonna go with said zakai i'm gonna go with said zakai it's so delicious with tease tease <laughs> okay Tizaki. 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 Holy shit. That sounds like a Michael Jackson song about to go into the fucking chorus. Sing it loud. <laughs> Holy shit. One legged break dancer. Oh, dude. No excuses. Hell yeah. Bro is better than all these guys. So I don't even know if you guys know this, 
that ain't even the first one-legged breakdancer. There was a guy back in the day for Red Bull. Um, what was his name? His name was like Junior, right? Oh, help me out. What the fuck was his name? I think his name was... Was it Junior? B-Boy Junior? Yeah, bro. Damn, I can't believe I pulled that. The freezing does. Yeah, bro. And Junior had a fake leg, bro. This dude was so clean. This guy right here. One of the most downloaded B-Boys. He has a YouTube clip with over 10 million views. Junior move right there with the fist freeze <laughs> with the fist pound. I think the crowd likes that. You can see though, it's this leg. You see how he's like kind of see how he moves when he's standing up like that. He's like the Texas hurricane, that dude who wrestled with one leg. It's crazy, bro. That's actually crazy. Kid David. Oh, oh. Halos. That was a nice transition, man. Let's say rocking them beats. Definitely gotta listen to the music and react. Yep. That was a little short. Let's see if it was enough for the judges. Here comes Junior. Bro, it's so right sick. On the top rocks. Right. Where Junior goes down right here. The little floor moves. Oh yeah, wow. That's her cool. Shallon Sherlock. Crazy, Thank you. Crazy what? strength. Tra I, I think it's like one of those crazy things like strength. in b-boying, it's just like it's less weight. <laughs> so man, if you if you could fucking master it, it turns into an advantage, which is sick. Solutions for airplane problems? Oh, no. Board my flight was about to take off. Oops, mechanical problem. Deep plane. Told it was 45 minutes. It's been five hours. I finally gave up, and now I'm drinking. Good for her. Go, Caroline. Go. He has both legs, but has polio, so his legs are weaker. Oh, really? I always thought he had a, a prosthetic. He had polio in his... That's even crazier. Junior had polio. That's wild, bro. Perfect. Yo, oh, yo, it's Lynn, and I have to laugh. How can we need not be equal? We're like half. Like, women are like half of the people on Earth. And yes, they should have been uh, equal since birth. That means all day, every day, equal pay, every way. Okay, are we really okay? Oh, my gosh. Yo, this beatboxing is fantastic. Beast, where to find them? Yo, I'm drastically changing the narrative. Look at it. You kept going. And oh, my gosh, I love watching this keep flowing. Holy. Oh, God, what is this? Immortal technique should be given some kind of endowment to follow the Hamilton around guy bully him in perpetuity. <laughs> Yo, you're still a disgrace. 
You like to sit around with women watching Will and Grace. Y'all should heed this. I'm being facetious. I'm the one who hammered the first nail at Jesus. Dude, immoral technique and fucking Jedi mind, bro. They were so angry. They were so angry all the time. Ziggy Cloud Stripe, thank you. I can I admit something? Ziggy Cloud Stripe, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I had no idea who this person was up until like two weeks ago. And then I found out that like a lot of people love her because she was Hermione Granger. I would never be able to pick her out of a lineup. Emma Watson? No. I never watched the Harry Potter movies. So I have no idea. I had no idea who this person was. She's in other stuff? What? Perks of being a wallflower, I've heard of that. That's 2012. All right, all right, all right. She makes cameo and this is the end as Emma Watson. Okay, all right. And then she was in Beauty and the Beast and Little Women. Okay. I get why I have never heard of her. No, I mean, like, I, I, I'm just going to keep it honest. That's just like one of those things where like, I had just never heard of that person or seen that person really. You haven't watched Harry Potter? Fuck no. Y'all, I have said this so many times. I hate Harry Potter. I hate that bitch. I hate what he did to magic. I hate his school. I hate his elite ass fucking prep school nonsense. I fucking hate everything about him. I hate everything about Hogwarts. They can suck my dick. You can catch my golden snitch outside, bitch. Uh, Fuck you. Fuck your Hufflepuff. Fuck your Nimbus 2000. Fuck everything about you. Bots every flavor beans, bitch. That's just jelly beans. They already had that shit. Who hurt you? Y'all fucking basic ass bitches when you tried to get into magic. That's who hurt me. Magic was for nerds. And then all you fucking normie ass Normie, regular ass, regular normies read a book and thought that you knew what magic was about. Stay the fuck out of my lane. You ain't a nerd, bitch. Gandalf would fuck Dumbledore up. Pussy yeah, Wow, that's for cool. Harry Potter. Not a single wizard in that whole fucking pl- dude. More- Voldemort. Voldemort would get his fucking flat ass nose stomped out in Lord of the Rings. Magic, disgusting. But it's a different universe. Yeah, it's a dog shit universe. Full of trash.
Dog shit take. Uh, you support a transphobe. Point at that guy. Uh, the best part is I had to keep my mouth shut You're for so many guy. years. I had to keep my mouth shut for so many fucking years till your till your art to your author came out as a total fucking piece of shit, a total fucking piece of shit, and then I could be like, "Fuck yeah!" Now I can finally tell these people what I think. I don't have to hold my tongue anymore. Caroline was a huge Harry Potter fan, and that was a problem for us. It was a problem in our relationship because I despise that motherfucker. Bro, imagine, imagine that version of magic. Magic, magic, which should be free for everyone, just like healthcare, folks. Magic should be free for everything, everyone, just like healthcare. She put it behind a fucking paywall, right? At a private university, right? And then anybody who doesn't have magic, she created racism against them. Called they call them mud bloods. The fuck? Oh, you need that. You need that pure white magic. Oh, you get. You're not bred well enough to do magic, huh? That's crazy. That's wild. That. Our version of magic is bitch made. Everybody knows it. You know who use wands? Magicians, not wizards. What is she fucking Siegfried and Roy in this bitch? Lame. Staff. That's magic. Oh yeah, wow, that's for cool. There are ones in Baldur's Gator. Yeah, and if you use them, you're bitch made. What face, what face, what face? They have wands and wow, yeah, but they ain't swinging them around saying dumb shit. Oh, yeah, wow, that's for cool. Hi, Will. Did you see Late Night with the Fireball. Guy? The main character is played by Vincent. Chain Lightning. That's magic. Flip Flabby and Flabby Papa, pussy. Fuck. That ain't no magic. Everything about Harry Potter is bitch made. Even Quidditch, a game where the entire game doesn't matter, except for two people who catch the snitch. The rest of the game doesn't matter, folks. Have you looked at how they score it? It doesn't matter what the rest of the team does. Why are they even out there? Why is no one talking about this? It should be a fucking 1v1. Wake up. Oh, yeah, wow, that's for cool. Finally, someone says IT. Oh, let me hit, let me bludger this. Oh, let me throw this ball through the hoop. Oh, Harry caught the snitch. It's over. We lost. Why were we doing what we were doing for five points each? Chill, bro, not important. <laughs> You're right. They barely talk about it in the books. How do you know? Because you motherfuckers won't stop talking about this fucking stupid ass wizard and his stupid bullshit. I have had to adore like in the movie after movie after fucking USB movie after IT merch after item after meme after fucking. 
You know what? I'll I'll be a first. I'll be a first. I will be the one that catches all these bullets so that other people will have, feel empowered and emboldened to come forward one day and say, you know what? Fuck Harry Potter too. I was a real nerd. I grew up an actual nerd. I was in comic book shops. I was playing Warhammer. I was playing Samurai Showdown and Metal Slug and fucking reading fucking all this bullshit that I enjoyed because I was a real nerd. And then you created this generation of fake nerds with their fake nerdery. Bro, I hate Harry Potter, but this is just gatekeeping. Could be. Could be. Yeah. You think so? Hmm. Okay. All right. Let's uh wait till Steven Crowder does a drag show and then you then say that because that's the equivalent. You stole my culture. You stole my culture. So when Louder with Crowder has a really successful drag show and puts it together, don't ask for me to come forward. I'm going to go, that's fine. That's fine. He can do that. He can just make a terrible version of what you're doing. That's fine. He can just steal your culture. That's fine. Oh, yeah. Wow. That's for cool. While I was reading books like Secret Teachings of All Ages about alchemy, kids were reading Harry Potter. I used to make fun of them. I hope he does. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. We'll see. When something gets taken that you love from you. Okay. We'll see. Man, y'all, y'all are, y'all are, y'all are crazy. Y'all are nuts. Oh, yeah, wow. People still get mad at K-pop groups for rapping. Watch Lord of the Rings or play video games. All I had were my comic book stores, Cartoon Network, and that stupid stuff before I'd fuck it was all I had. Oh, yeah, wow. That's for cool. I grew up on Harry Potter, and I understand... Appropriation? That's what I'm saying, baby! You appropriated magic! Oh, yeah, wow. That's for cool. From who? The nerds! The nerds! You took our comic books cool. and you made them shitty ass film franchises. You took our magic and you made it a ride at Universal. Keep your hands off our shit. <laughs> oh yeah, wow, that's for cool. Fuck the nerds. Harry Potter is fun magic, not nerd magic. What the fuck is fun magic? There's nothing fun about magic. It's a it's a martial discipline. Disgusting. Oh yeah, wow, that's for cool. Thanks for being the best person on this platform. Cheers, my guy. I love there are people that are actually taking this conversation seriously too. It's just fun, guys. I saw someone in chat being, say, you're being obtuse. Yeah, dude, it's a joke. <laughs> it's a fucking joke. <laughs> but seriously, fuck Harry Potter. I just think, I just think it's lame and badly written. There's, I have no other problem with it. See, that's not as fun. Sydney Sweeney is mid. Get that guy's address. <laughs> <laughs> 
because I want to send them cookies. <laughs> All right, I got a baseball team to coach. I got to save all this aggression for my baseball team. My name's Marky the Boys. No. And you can call me Cootie because the girls say I got him. Haas, you didn't do this. Her, her. You did not pull Marky Dubois' fucking voice. These lines. here's my new overalls. What mama give me? I got lots of pockets for putting my tools in, and this one pocket here is full up with night crawls for fishing, cause later after the game, I'm gonna go down to the river and catch me I'll a big mess of catfish. And my ma cleans them right nicely for me and fries them up in a little cornmeal batter. <laughs> oh my god. Dang, they're good eating. Boy howdy. Fuck you, Marky Dubois. Boy and my cousin Boomer. Is he, is he still going? All right, Billy Nosh, one and two. See if we can get our season back on track tonight. God, we're playing back in the trash yard. Who are we playing? The Devil Rays again. Jesus Christ. Oh, Jose Canseco is slumping. All right, how's my roster doing? <gasps> Ronnie Dobbs! Ronnie Dobbs is showing up, baby. Okay, we can't. We need Kenny Kawaguchi back in there. <gasps> Kimi Ekman is up! Yep. All right, here we go, baby. Let's play ball! Pitching today is Christina Beatty. She pitches better against kids who speak French and write poetry verses. And rumor right. has it, she's not a big fan of Brussels sprouts. Let's get it going here. That's weird. My parents told me all kids like Brussels sprouts. I put on baseball stadium music and the first song that came up was Closer by the Chainsmokers. The what the fuck? What the fuck is that? All right, here we go. Come on, Reese. And the offering. Okay, I wasn't clicked in. That was my mistake. What is this? Pitch on the way. A swing. Well, no out. This baseball, dude. I put on two baseball playlists. Time out. Is this what people listen to in baseball now? What the fuck happened to baseball? Ew. Now this is baseball. No, no, no. Not the one that Haas played, the playlist I put on you, ding dongs. Go, baby. Go, baby. Slide. He's out. Kenny Frazier steps in, ready for action. Because her parents taught her peaceful values, Annie's not a very competitive player. One out. Yeah, I know. Come on, Annie Frazier. Give me something here, kid. I need a jack. Left field. Oh, you suck. That's her power stroke. God. Here we go, baby. Big D. Pay. Money. Wubby. Rip this shit, wubs. And That's a ball. That was a ball. That pitcher has very little arm control. One and no. Come on, baby. We need it. <laughs> Look at the different colored socks. Swat! Oh. I hope they didn't hurt themselves. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Oh, I was on that. Come on, Big D. We need a solo jack. I was on that, bro. All right, Kawaguchi. Your last game was disgraceful. I need some effort this game. That a boy, Gooch. That a boy. 
Magnus! Right down the pipe. The Slow way. ball. Catch him fast. That's what I'm talking about. Way to battle, Gooch. Now you bring the juice. Slap. Way to go, Gooch! Yeah, Gooch. And a baby, kid. Spin those wheels, baby. Oh, yeah, Gooch. All right, heat. Yep, yep, yep. Gooch, 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 Gooch. Is everybody just on this? Seriously, why are we so amped for this? Listen, we have a long legacy of backyard baseball in this community, okay? I've been coaching these kids for years. Fuck! Eddie, get on your fucking horse! Hey! Kimmy Ekman, get the fuck out of my... God damn you, Kimmy Ekman! God damn you to hell! He's got it. Fires it over. Over to third. And that's the run. Kimmy, what the fuck are you doing? You stay in midfield! Two out. Takes the stretch, throws it. A swing. Jesus, 41. Target goes up. There we go. There we go. All right. We need you to crank up the special sauce. Way to go, Gooch. Way to get us out, kid. Hearts on fire, Ronnie Dobbs. Show your big sister what you're made of, kid. I need a jack. Left field. Ball. Low ball one, and the count is one and zero. Oh. She's set, and the offering. Oh fuck! Oh shit! Oh fuck! No, drop it! Drop it! You suck! You suck ass! Yeah! You fucking nerd! <laughs> Woo! Way to go, Ronnie! Oh, it's pickles! Pickles! Put them in a pickle! Come on, baby. Come on, Binosh. Oh, Binosh! I need one bunt, baby. I need one bunt. Keep your eye on it, you fucking little bitch. Yes! Yes! Get on your fucking horse, Ronnie! Go, Billy, go! We take that. We take that. We take that. Pickles on base is the shit. That's an insta run. That's an insta run. Watch pickles go. We just take this pitch. Watch this. Even if it's a strike, doesn't doesn't matter. Go pickles. Get him. He gone. He gone. That's that pickles difference. And he's gone. And he's gone. Pickles and a pickles. Watch. Watch the fake out. Throw it, bitch. Yep. I'm gone. They don't want that smoke. They don't want that smoke from Pickles. They have a runner on. Send them. Send them. We need this run to equalize. She kicked. She delivered. The wing. Oh, get fair, you little oh, stupid oh. ass bitch. Oh, <laughs> Sorry, Kimmy Ekman. I'm just a little wound up today. Yeah, Kimmy! You fucking will run that out! Low roller. God damn it, Kimmy. What a bummer. Are you shitting me? Best shot, though. Okay, that'll bring up Marky your boy. I'm ruined. Third, I'm back. fucking ruined. Clubber this one like a squirrel in a nut house. I'm fucking ruined. It's Marky Dubois. Ball one. My career is over. We have to steal home. It's the only way. It's the only way. Go! Go, Pickles! There it is, Pickles! Pickles! He's getting tired. This is bad. This is bad. Oh! Pickles! He's out of juice. He's out of energy. We ran his legs off. That's a ball. Please, God. Woo! 
Good eye, Marky. Target goes up. Two, That's a ball. Yeah. Walk him. Walk him. Into the motion. Three, one, two. God damn it, Marky Dubois. What happened to you? Why are you like this? The wind up. The three, two, pitch. Long on. Marky. Marky! You got this, kid. Way to fight. She kicks. Rose it. That's a ball. Low and inside. Yeah, take your base, Marky. Yeah. Look at those crazy little legs. Sydney Weber. Sydney Weber actually can hit rips. She's just got to hit one jack down this left field line. Here's the and the throw. One on. <gasps> Sydney, I was there, baby. Two out. Come on, Sydney. From the windup and the offering. Swinging. So early. That's my fault. I'm sorry, Sydney. That was a slow ball. Takes her stretch. Here's the pitch. The swing. <gasps> Bro, I was on that. God. Brutal, 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 brutal. Fuck up there. Okay, way to go, Gooch. I really needed that run. Way to go, Gooch. Hit her with that slow ball, Gooch. Swing, bitch. Give me that shit. Give me juice. Give me juice. Why can't I get any juice? Jose Canseco slumping. Just fucking pin that inside. All right, give him the spit. Give him the axle grease. Oh, you gotta be shitting me. Right. Eddie! Get Eddie! He's all over it. On to second. Alright, we gotta bait this out. There's the bait. Billy, the Billy, you dropped the ball. Billy, you left the ball. Slings it to third. The throw. The throw to second. Throws it over to first. The bait! The bait! You don't get sh- No way he'll be able to catch that. Ready! That's a run. That could have been epic, but it wasn't. <laughs> now let's go water. Steps up. This girl can walk the walk, but can she hit the ball? One out. I hate these fucking kids so much. They're so fucking bad at baseball. My coaching is fucking perfect, and they're actually just trash. Fucking inside kids. Reese, 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 catch that. He caught it! That's an out in baseball! Tina B steps up to bat. Runner on first. Into okay. the motion and the offering. Slow left hook in my book. Oh and one. He said, pitch on the way. Another. God, and I didn't get juice after four fucking strikeouts. That's so unf No, it's a crazy bunt. Crazy bunt. You don't see that very often. I don't know how the physics of that thing works, but one thing I do know, it can drive any field of batting. She's going to play it off the wall. Wings it. They usually get two crazy bunts, too. Here's the wind up and the pitch. Game her up. From the stretch and the throw. The wind up and delivered. The swing, another one down. Follow the host. Okay, 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 okay. Give me juice. Give me juice! Bro, you cannot play the game if they don't give you juice. It is actually insane. The wind up and delivered. This is the second game where I cannot get juice. There's, there's, you're kidding me, Kenny. You're kidding me. I'm ableist now. I'm fucking ableist now. Target 
Kenny Okay, get there, Kenny. Get there, Kenny. Roll, baby. Roll, baby. Roll. Oh, 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 I'm the and the count is 0 and 1. From the wind up and the throw. It's gotta be a ball. Strike two. Ready now. Fire. The swing. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. I'm fucking that kid's mom. Come on, Reese. That little blooper and I'm running. Singles it out. Woo! I'm fucking that kid's mom. Annie, you suck. You've always sucked. I hate you. <gasps> Not a double play. Not a double play, for the love of God. I fucking hate you kids. I fucking hate you kids. You're supposed to have maxed out hitting. You can't hit for shit. And the delivery. Yeah, big D! Big D! Big D! That's my boy, D! He's gonna play it off the wall. Come on, Annie. Come on, Annie. Get on your fucking horse. And she's You run in those fucking Birkenstocks. Ronnie. Big dick. Dobbs. Into the windows. He delivers. Ball. Ball one. You're up against your sister, Ronnie. I need you. Here's the pitch. Yes, Ronnie, stay fair, you motherfucker. Stay in the park. There's no way. What are we doing, guys? What are we doing? Kenny can't do this all by himself. Kenny Kawaguchi can't do this. All by Who's going to fucking stand up and help Kenny? And that night, Jesus Christ, I know it's not you, Annie, you piece of shit. Come on! Come on, Kimmy! Get deep, bitch! Catch that one time. Got it! The throw! What? It was a catch! Dude, what is happening? Sally Dobbs stepped in. The boss loves to talk about the importance of high fibers here. Hit the wall? It doesn't matter. That's a catch. No, but into the wind of fire. Swung on. Oh. Into the wind of and the offering a swing. Jesus Christ, Annie. The room. Going, going. Say goodbye, because this ball is... God! Sometimes you gotta put these kids in their place. Alicia Blake, nobody else. better next time. Into the motion. Here's the pitch. Annie is a liability. This whole fucking better. team is a liability. It's every one of the worst players in the game. They're all fucking trash. They can't do anything. She's gonna play it off the wall. Chucks it over to second. Chucks it over. Ableist? How could I be ableist? He's the best fucking player on my team! I'd take four more kids in wheelchairs if they played like Kenny. Yes! Double play, that's actually huge. That's actually huge. That's actually big for us. We get a special hit. If I can just get some people on base and get the aluminum bat. The if we got the aluminum bat, this is saved. We might be saved. I never gave up on these kids. From the wind up, the delivery. The wing. Kenny. That a baby. And the throw to first. That a baby. Way to get us out. Yep. And this. What I get? What I get? Screaming lime drive, the worst one in the game. Fuck you! Fuck you all! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fucking bullshit ass league, rigged against my kids. Fucking stupid shit. There, you, no, it's not. I can see it's not a strike because it's not in the fucking strike zone. 
get yo go 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 Billy fast that fast fast ball. Billy Little you're the fastest kid on the field running. what happened what happened Billy you ran him I didn't even run him that much and it's been one two one. innings since right. then Okay, I was on that one. I can't believe that wasn't it. Into the wind up, the delivery. Hang on. Oh, Kimmy, get deep, baby. Get on your horse. And, and. <sighs> Take the stretch, cut to the plate. Swing. The right. <laughs> how is that not a hit? Also, I love how I selected grounder and Kimmy Ekman hit a fly ball to fucking right field. How are these grounders? Who taught you how to chop? Who taught you how to chop? Hey, swing down! Here's the motion and the throw. Me and her are sweet on the other. You know, figure when we get to be of mirror age. Into the white and the offering. Oh, that's, that's not a strike. That's not a strike, but that other trash was. I'm gonna find you in the parking lot, ump. I'm gonna cut your fucking tongue out. Just kidding, just kidding. Sorry, sorry. Oh, for fuck's sake, Annie. One time, can you do something? Just field it. Just field it. Play it off the wall. Chuck it over. Good throw, Annie. Good throw. From the wind up, here's the pitch. Ball one, with coming to get you back. Dude, I can't believe I have five strikeouts, no juice. The odds of that are so bad. He's just burnt out. He's got nothing left. And if I use a special pitch, he's just gonna be totally burnt, but I have to. Swing, bitch. Please give me juice. Please give me juice. For the love of back from the stretch here's the pitch Swing. there it is there it is there it is ball. It up. double play ball to first. that's it out the throw to second the throw to first base Swing. out of there and it's a double play those kids are really on it today they are turning all right in. we have two special hits what do we have the crazy bunt. Give me the aluminum power bat. Pitch on the way. The wing. The right. Fucking bitch. From the wind up and the throw. Swung on. Yes, yes, yes. Come on. One time, run it out. Beat the squeeze. Get there. Okay. It's happening. It's happening. Kenny, it's time. We need you, baby. Here's the pitch. That's a ball. That was ball one. One and oh. If we can get some time. runs right here, we have a chance. Kenny, I need you, baby. There it is. Unbelievable scream. She almost fucking caught that? She almost caught that. That is insane. Reese, we need these. Give it to me, baby. Crazy bunt. The delivery. The wing. You missed a special pitch. You missed a special pitch, Reeds. From the stretch, pitch on the way. Swinging. There it is. Go, bitch. Run. We need a run here. If that stops in the infield, I'm gonna actually choke myself out. Oh, right, their first run today. I was beginning to wonder if they'd ever score. And he comes in to score. Go, Reese. And the runner is safe. Reese. And yes. We're players. back. These kids are really hustling today. And he Fraser steps. Thank God I used that then because it's shit ass dumb fuck Annie Fraser. The wind up has to the plate. The swing. Because she sucks. She sucks so bad. Man, She's supposed to have a maxed out hitting stat. She cannot hit. From the windup and delivered. 
That's Big D, though. Ball. That little blooper sent him running. We need Big D so badly right now. Big D has been a staple for us. Here's the wind up, the delivery. Swung on. Foul ball. Way to battle. He's doing some trig. He's locking in right now. He's doing long division on how to hit this motherfucker. She's set and the pitch. That was ball one. And the count is one and two. Come on, Big D. Lock in, baby. She's ready. She delivers. Swing. And he was. Ronnie, I'm, I need a miracle, kid. Yo, when did this kid's arm come back? She's thrown fucking 53 pitches. She's set fire. Okay, there we go. She's throwing absolute trash now. And the count is two and go. You swing early, you touch yourself at night. She is ready. Pitch on the way. The wing. Okay. Then I'm scrambling. What is this defense? From the windup, he throws it. One on. All right, Gooch. Gooch, get us out of this, and then we will score two runs next fucking inning. That's what I'm talking about, Gooch. You hit him with the right. You hit him with the left. Annie, please, one catch. There she goes. I hate you, Annie Frazier. I hate you. On to second thing. What? What? You know, maybe it's about time for the ump to vit. The stretch and the offering. Swinging. Foul ball. Oh, oh my kids don't get a chance to catch that shit. The wind up and the delivery. Swing. And the Throw the spitty. Target goes up. Throws it. Don't hit that bitch. I Sally, stupid ass Dobbs. Low and inside. I'm gonna be a fruit in my pocket, but I'm gonna give them a sweet Here's the line. Just run to the plate. Swung on. Okay, that's a double. Got past him. Kay! She's out. Tosses it over to second. Safe. Wait, can we get a double play if we. The first having a rough time of it. Some Perfect! Dimitri, the play of the century! First, slings it to third, safe. Ronnie! Heading out of reach. Over to third. That one's going way over his head. Scores another run. Tosses it home. Alicia Blakely comes to the two. Ronnie cannot catch. He cannot catch the ball. I, d I don't know what to do. He can't catch a baseball. The wing. A bouncing ball. It's a Marky, what are you doing, bro? Here's the throw to second. We've shut. All right, guys. Billy, I need you to hit, kid. From the wind up, fire. What the fuck did that get there? She kicked. Pitch on the way. A swing. Yes! Get on base! Get on base! We get a special hit! Billy, you're the fastest man in all the fucking field! From the wind up, the pitch. A swing, the right one. 0 and 1. Here's the motion. Here's the pitch. The swing. Oh, thanks, Kimmy. Thanks for the out. Oh, Kimmy Ekman. Okay. Okay, that'll bring And bitch, because this one here is going plumb out of here. Take the stretch and the throw. The right. Runner on first, one out. What are you fucking talking about? The white duck. Here's the pitch. The wing. How is that not a hit? How is that not a hit? Here's the line. Cut to the plate. Okay, come on. Low ball one. Into the motion. She delivers. Swung on. 
everybody. I fucking now hate you, Marky. Gotta watch your kneecaps on this. Marky, accelerate, uh, you up. fucking piece of shit. Into the wind up, she delivers. Swung on, looped up. She's out of there. The fishes have been. We gotta start winning some games. Cut Annie. That's not how this works. It's not. Oh God, we're up against fucking Pablo. Oh, Jesus! Oh, okay, let's play ball. Here's the motion and the pitch. Swing. Well. Here's the motion. Rose it. On. Kenny, Ken, where's the where's the ball? Easy. Great play, baby. Great play. Great play, Billy. I won't run your fucking legs off this time. We need you to be an ace. My own son's got to fucking carry this godforsaken team. That's an out. No, it's not. And she grabbed it. And she stayed straight to first. Lays out. Wasn't ready for it. You arrogant bitch. Do you really think you're going to get to second base? Get the fuck off my field. Good play, guys. Ready now. And the offering. The swing. A little doinker. Got it. Zing to the first. Oh. Fuck off my field. Reese has actually been an anchor for this team, which is crazy to say. Cut to the plate. The swing. Reese, get on your horse. That little blooper, and I'm running. He's out. Okay, that kid has the best arm in the fucking league, apparently. The stretch and the pitch. Swung on. Annie Frazier. Bouncing ball. Tra old trash Frazier. Old dog shit Frazier. Big D, we need you. Into the wind -up and delivered. The wing. D. From the stretch and the delivery. The right. If he can keep it together, he's got one more shot. 0 and 2. Sad day to be Annie Frazier. That's every day. It's every day of her life. God damn it. That's a slow roller. Man, it's an L. You gotta score run. Hello? Oh, nope. From the stretch, the pitch. We're so back. I'm not picking up on these keys. From the stretch and the pitch. Ball one. The target goes up. The one one pitch. The swing. A bouncing ball. Having a rough time of it. Great shot to first. That pussy first. fell. The throw to second. Things it to first. That's it for her. That pussy fell down. Just one. From the wind up and the pitch. A swing. Popped it up. Please. Goes for the diving head. Oh. Up to make the catch. That did for her. Sydney, I almost had a fucking stroke. Good play, kid. Here's the wind up. The delivery. The swing. The right hand. Annie was probably the worst. Okay, so out of my coach mode for a second, I will say Annie Frazier is one of those players that'll drive you crazy because she actually has good stats. She actually has good stats. But there's a lot of like little secret stuff in this game that like they don't talk about. So like, for example, Ronnie Dobbs, if he's on his sister team, plays much worse. Or like Sydney Weber, if she's with Ashley Weber, they always have boosted stats. Kimmy Ekman has like the some boosted stats, but once her energy goes, she dies. Kenny Kawaguchi has the best energy recovery in the game. So there's a bunch of secret stat shit like that. Annie Frazier is supposed to have 
one of the best batting stats in the game, and she honestly sucks ass. She just sucks. She cannot hit the ball. I've never hit a home run with her. And other players with a even halfway decent batting stat hit absolute jacks. Like, Ronnie Dobbs hits jacks with that, and she has two more batting stat. She can't, eat, like, do anything. How the fuck do you know all this? I won a championship. This game on the hard difficult is actually, like, low-key such a difficult game. The stretch. Here's the pitch. That was ball one. One and one. You should play NBA Street Volume 2 sometime. One of best sports games. Fire. That was ball two. Two and one. <clears throat> And the offering, the swing. God, Ronnie, just one time. Oh, oh my. Oh my God, Ronnie, the hitman Dobbs. And now it's Pickles' turn. Woo! All right, Pickles. Billy Nosh, I just need to get him on base. If I can get him on base, we're good. If that's a strike, I'm out. Ball one, and the count is one and zero. And delivered a swing foul. She kicked, throws it. That's if that's not a ball. Right. If he can keep it together, he's got one more shot. I'm triggered. From the stretch, the one two pitch. One on. Yes, yes, go, Billy. A bouncing ball. That Throw it to second pitch. And I'm running. Oh my God, Ronnie the Hitman Dobbs! Target goes up. He delivered a swing. Was I on that? Oh, it's a little bit inside. She's set. Cut to the plate. A swing. Oh, Kimmy. What's going on with Ronnie? He hits the ground. Now, tag first, slides into second. And the runner tags. And the runner is safe. Okay, that'll bring up Marky and Boy. How the fuck did she out. catch that? I'm gonna clobber this one like a squirrel in a nut house. Ronnie, I need you. Marky, I need you one time. And delivered. That was ball one. If they walk. Marky, I'm going to come. That's got to be a ball, please. Strike one. One and one. The stress the one-one pitch. The win. Strike. So this game does this thing where if you don't swing on a ball that has like any piece of it inside the strike zone, it'll be a strike. Rick didn't realize we were getting a rare weekend stream. Set and the pitch. I gotta send him. I gotta send him. I gotta send him. I gotta send him. The stretch and delivered. Swung on. Make I gotta send him. Watch this. Watch this. This is quite a predicament. Ronnie's just gotta create a situation here. If I would have done that. The runner is safe on third. Cut between bases. Good pitch to go on. It's not looking good for him. Oh my god, that kid's got a fucking laser beam. Good. Ronnie! The runner is safe on third. Get out the cookies, Ma. He's heading home. Oh, right. Their first run today. I'm the best! The best! The delivery. I have to create runs in this game. Because look, it's old off. Sydney. Little blooper, and I'm running. Okay, bait her. Bait her to let Sydney on. We just got to use that home plate to bait them. All right, both Ronnie and Will are going to be exhausted for the rest of the game. But runs are so tough to come by. I just need to do that. 
Okay, pitcher, give me one right over the center. She's set and delivered. The swing is... <gasps> Drop it, you fucking punk ass little stupid. Billy! Billy, run, bitch! Run your fucking ass off! Kenny, wheel, 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 wheel! Sydney, run! Wheel, 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 wheel! Makes it! Safe on third! stepping up to the plate. This kid. She delivers. That's a ball. That was ball one. <sighs> she kicked fire. A swing. The right one. Stupid bat. And there are Stupid bat. Race working king. Target goes up. The pitch. That's a ball. Low ball two. And the count. Oh, Jesus two Christ. That was almost a strike. Fire. That's gotta be a ball. That was ball three. The stretch, pitch on the way. A swing. Oh yeah, good Jack. We bait the home, we bait the home. Ball. Gotta watch your kneecaps on those tables. Yes. Between bases. Is it Big D? Please God, let it be Big D. Kenny Frazier steps in, ready for action. This slug is ready to show us what she's made of. The bases are loaded. Two out. Come on, pitcher. Hurry me up. Time out. Annie. I need you right now. Okay. All is forgiven. If you hit one jack right now. If you just fucking pulverize this. All is forgiven. Just one time, kid. Just one fucking time. The wind strike one. That's what I call a whip. Here's the wind of fire. The wind strike two. Bases loaded, two out. The target goes up and delivers. Swung on, struck out. From the windup, pass it to the plate. The right turn. He comes center, and the offering swinging. That's a Kenny play right there, if I've ever seen one. Great to the pitcher. Great shot to first. Out. Way to chef it up, kid. One. I don't know what it is about Annie. She can't hit the ball. She literally cannot hit the ball. She has no stat she's good at. Great shot to first. That's it. Out. Takes the stretch and the delivery. Ball one. Oof. He's ready now. The delivery. Direct. Way to paint that corner, kid. The stretch. The one-one pitch. The wing. That's a catch. Off fly. Sydney. Sydney. Easy. That pulled. <sighs> Big D. Big D's on the bound. That's gotta be a ball. Okay, whatever. Whatever. Big D's on the mound. And the throw. What is he waiting for? Here's the motion and the pitch. That was ball two. Two and two. The stretch and the offering. The swing. A D, where are the jacks we used to get, bud? Jack. Dude, Big D, I need some jacks, man. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Swinging the right one. What happened to my fucking music? 
Did, did they mute? Ready now. Pitch on the way. Oh shit, I was clicking back in. Right. And the count is 0 and 2. Sorry, Ronnie, my bad. Ellen's on me, kid. Here's the motion and the pitch. The wing. That was me, that was me, that was me. Billy Nosh is tired. Swing away, kid. You got one batting stat. Why not? The right. Dude. Her strike zone is 90% out here, and it'll just paint the corner every time. And the throw. Swing. Strike. Anytime you get that second strike on you, it gets pretty tough to fight back. We actually don't want Billy to get on while we have a lead. Because we need him to recover so he can maybe come back later in the game. With a two run lead, we're probably pretty good for right now. He comes center. Pitch on the way. Swung on. Up. You're swinging for power, man? Yeah, he's burnt. So even if he got on base, it wouldn't, it wouldn't matter. He's absolutely cooked. Now I could do something crazy. Try and get juice, trade him for a pitcher and juice him up. Basically put him on steroids. But for some reason this season, the game won't give me juice. It'll give me like eight special pitches and it won't give me juice. Also, it just seems like everybody's getting a hit and grounding out instead of just letting me get strikeouts. From the stretch, cuts to the plate. A swing. A bouncing ball. D? So you never throw special pitches to Pablo because Pablo will hit them and then they'll get special hits. So certain players you never use a special pitch on. Just so you guys know. Because they'll just plaster them. Come on, Kimmy. Hit a jack. She kicked the pitch. Oh my god, that's a jack! Don't catch that. Okay, that'll bring up Marky. Marky, just, dude, something. You're batting 200 on the season. That's gonna be a strike? Yep, of course. Gotta pull the trigger on those. And the count is 0 and 1. The wind, the fire. Foul ball. Takes her stretch. Here's the pitch. The wing. Foul Can you select the swing on the side like you do the pitches? If so, why don't you? I do. I do for every one of my batters. What are you talking about? And the offering. That's all. And the throw. High ball one. And the count is one and oh. She is ready. Throws it. Backyard baseball. Let's go. Foul ball. One and one. Like, if if that is, like, one of the good players in this game, that is a fucking jack. Here's That's gone. One, one, six. <laughs> My and God. That's so brutal. You're so bad. The stretch and the pitch. The wing. Okay. Kimmy, I need you to get on your fucking horse. Don't do not do a double play. What happened to Kimmy's wheels? She's like dead already. She's set. Here's the pitch. Swung on. Oh my god. I was so on that. Look at that. Ugh. The wind up. He delivered. From the windup and delivered. Oh, oh my God, Kenny! If you hit that, we get a special fucking hit. Sorry, Kawaguchi. Dude, look at this. I cannot get juice. It's actually wild. The game is like starving me of an essential resource, which is, it's really shitty. Juice is the most important thing. The pitches are okay, but juice gives you energy. That's a home run. Holy fuck. Running over. That ball is out of here and there is nothing left but a vapor trail. He's ready now. Touch to the plate. Here's the wind up. Pitch on the 
away. This way. Look. Ready now. Here's the pitch. A swing. Give me juice, please, please, bitch. Fuck yes. Okay, okay, okay. I have an idea. Um. Wait. Billy's full juice. Wait, why are they all full juice? I guess he'll give my crime to his son, but he is rich enough. Thank you. That's weird. They were like all slumping last Hit inning. And the throw. Hit. The wing. The light. If you okay, another thing that happens in backyard baseball for some reason, the 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 game kind of chooses sometimes that something is gonna be a hit no matter what. You'll see them change stance right before the ball comes in. If you see that, it means they're winding up to fucking crack it. So if you ever see them change stance right before they're about to hit, you know that they're about to fucking jack it. Now we got lucky and she hit a foul ball. But Ready. I'll put that right down the fucking pipe. That. Throw another one, bitch. Okay, now we juice him. We throw that slow mo. Oh, God, Kimmy. All right. Here we go. One more inning for them. Here's the motion. Here's the pitch. That's going to be a strike, I bet. Oh, and outside. Okay, God. If we can get one more run, we basically ice this thing. And this win would be big. Still wind up. Pitch on the way. Eyeball two. I don't know what happened to my music. Time out. It just dies. Okay. These kids need hip hop. Rap is what you do. Hip hop's what you live. And deliver. Yes, Reese. Get on your horse, baby. That little blooper animal. Yep, 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 yep. Holy. It's not looking good for I'm sorry, Reese. I'm so sorry. You're caught between some of the best players in the game. Wait about a race. Annie Frazier, runner on first, nobody out. I don't know, Annie. I don't know. Maybe you're a grounder girl. Maybe that's your thing. Maybe you just hit grounders. And the offering. <laughs> I hate you. you. Gotta watch your kneecap. It's a double play. <gasps> and he's safe. An act of God. An actual God came down and touched us with his divine finger she is ready Rose it. The swing. oh it's Rose back D. big D big D big and that's an out tag first and the runner tag take the second god I need you D I need that one big D run a game okay if that's a strike that was ball one hey watch it you kid <laughs> Yeah, watch out. Don't you hit Ronnie. I actually love Ronnie. Ronnie's been a goat for us. Whoops. Slice. I feel like I was on that. I was. Jesus Christ. That if that's a strike. Ball two and the count two. Almost. Use the bait strat. I don't know if it's worth it right now. Because Reese is actually really tired because I put him in that pickle. She's set. A three two pitch. A swing. A bouncing ball. You guys need to accelerate your life, Reese. And it goes out of play. Oh my god! Act of God! And he comes in to score. And that's a double. And now it's pick Oh my god! An act of God. All right, Billy. Little bunty bunty. Little bunty bunty. Give me the bunty. Here's the motion. Here's the pitch. Swing. Right 
Into the motion of the pitch. Swing. Oh my god, how is that not? One batting stat is so hard. I don't know why you guys let I I don't know why I let you talk me into giving this kid one batting stat. Billy sucks. Yeah, you guys made sure of it. Oh, Kimmy, what a jack! Annie, what are you doing? Ronnie, what are you doing? Get on your fucking horse! She scored! Yeah, now that's Ronnie, what I'm run. about. Now that kid has moxie. It's not looking good for him. Yes, it is. Ronnie fucking Dobbs. Good hustle. These kids are on their way. And the runner is safe. It's a fucking home run derby. Bro, Ronnie is bat. Margie Dubois is batting for 181. What the fuck? This kid sucks. He's the worst player in the game, actually. He and Andy Frazier are having a fucking chug down for who can slobber the most dick. And it's an out. What in tarnation? Dude, we're going on a home run derby. Oh my god! Bad news bears. Marky Dubois absolutely streaking with his stupid, dumb, stupid ass, stupid, dumb feet. Get me out of this game. Target goes up. The delivery. Swung on. Target goes up. And the offering. A bouncing ball. Ronnie. Ronnie. Great shot Bro, that shit is actually crazy when they just seconds. fall over like that. She fires it to first. He's out of there. Ronnie just fell. The ball was right there and he went, ah! Throw. Swinging. Gave one out. He's ready now. And the throw. Swung on. Ooh, that's not good. Got it. Straight to second. Okay. Straight to second, over to third. Oh, what a rifle. Drop the ball? Sometimes he just can't hang on to that ball. Okay. Run. The coach calls timeout. Ronnie cannot catch. Ronnie cannot catch. I think we have to... I think we have to sub Ronnie out. I, I think he has to play catcher. That's actually crazy. The the boy like he's griefed like six plays. Runner on third, one out. Right field. Time out. No, I like Reese Worthington in right field. I mean Maybe we flip him with Kimmy Ekman. But Annie on third? Yo, fuck Annie. Annie Frazier can sit on the fucking bench. Takes the stretch and the delivery. Yo, thank you. Target goes up, Oh my god, that's a home run. Annie, you can redeem yourself. Over to and she drops it because she's Annie Frazier. Annie Frazier, everybody. Annie yeah. Frazier. Low ball. Quick throw to second. Safe at second. To Let's first. bait it out, but he can actually catch. Did he just drop the ball? Safe. Runner on third, two out. Here's the motion and delivered. Swing. He bunts it. Kenny. Got it. A throw to home. That's it for. Get me out. Get me out of this game. Fuck you, Pablo Sanchez. Tag you. Fish win.
fish win. All right. Okay. We're in this. We're in this. We just got to beat the Orioles. Who are we playing? The Orioles. Cal Ripken motherfucking junior. Okay, let's play ball. On the mound. This is a big game, folks. The big fucking... All right, we need to see who's streaking and who's slumping. Who's streaking? Oh, Ronnie. Okay, Marky. Big. Okay, Kenny. Okay, no one's slumping. That's great. We have two people that are slightly above where they usually play. A bunt. There's a bunt. Kimmy. She gobbles it up. Throws it to first. See. Time out. Billy's too important as a catcher. He's too important. Takes the stretch, fire. Ball, <laughs> quick throw to second. Did he just drop the ball? Safe on second. Guys, we can't keep dropping the ball. You're the fucking second. killing me. A swing. <laughs> Chopper to third. You have to stay up! She gobbles it up. Quick toss to third. She's safe. That's guys. Solid. Guys. And guys. What is going on? Sophie Meyer steps up to bat. There's so many errors in a row, dude. You are always so, dude, the errors in this game, there's a reason there's an option to turn them off. It's because they're so fucking oppressive. And bad kids make so many of them. The one, one pitch. Please, just t just field it. Kimmy! He's all over it. I, she's too much of a liability. The coach called timeout. I need Ronnie there. I need Ronnie. She she's too much of a fucking liability. She can't do anything. We just have to accept that if there's a hit out there, it's a hit. We just can't. We have to play defense on, on small ball. We can't let them be getting fucking hits off shit that should be outs. Like it's absurd. Ready now. Here's the pitch. The weak. All right, they gave me juice first thing. That's huge. Target goes up and the offering swinging. A bunt. Easy play for him. Great to third. Jeez. Oh, quick throw to second. Double play. Double. What up? Give me the aluminum power bat, motherfucker. Holy shit. The swing. Well, ball. Into the motion. Here's the pitch. Swinging. I'm on that. Okay. It's gotta be a hit. Takes the stretch. The pitch. The swing. Nice. Come down. Lost sight of that one. It's so high. Any Frazier's runner on first. With I'm not giving you the aluminum power by Any Frazier. I know you'll fuck it up. The stretch, the pitch, the swing. <gasps> it's a is it a double play? Gotta watch your kneecaps on those tables. And that's an out. God, Any Frazier cannot get a base hit. Me three runner on first, one out. Big D, it's time. Send that shit. Ready now, and the delivery. Low and outside, and the count is one and oh. Send that shit to fucking China, D. He winds, and the pitch. Wow. That's Wubby Baseball right there. Use the aluminum power bat. Get the fuck out of here. Best pay money, Wubby, baby. 
Look at him, he's a king. He's carrying us this season. Seven hundred and fifty-eight feet. Oh my god! He fucking crushed it. Wait, I have another aluminum power bat. That's that's broken. You're not supposed to get two. Okay, Ronnie, that's fair. Now get on your horse. Now go, baby. She's gonna drop that. And he. Okay. Billy, just get on base, babe. All power ups give you one or two. I know. Power bat only usually gives you one. Look at the speed. Slide. Into first on a sharp Kimmy, you know what? Go yard, bitch. Into the wind of fire. Ball one. That one was just a bit wide. Runner on first. Two out. Go yard, bitch. From the wind up and delivered. Bang! Wow, Sauce him! Back, way back, out of the ballpark, a home run! The fish are back! Gonna need a plane ticket to catch this one. The fish are back! Okay, that'll bring up Mark and Roy. I'm gonna clobber this one like a squirrel in a nut house. Into the motion, touch to the plate. Two out. The stretch and the throw. Another strike. What the fuck? What the fuck just happened? Target goes up. Here's the pin. Go yard. Yeah, Marky. Solo shot. Power back. Money, baby. It is back. Way back. Out of the ballpark. I took oh, these kids. I, don't I saw it. potential. But it tasted just like chicken. My paw's gonna be real proud. Yeah, your paw's gonna be real proud. This is a confidence game. Seems like little Smokey Sid can play all day and never get tired. Two out. I'm gonna smash the ball out of here. Now pitching Sophie Myers. Oh, they're subbing the pitcher because I'm going yard so often. The wind up fire. That kid's gonna be in fucking therapy with all the fucking bangers I hit off him. Man, it's an Hey, you can't pitch because mommy left daddy. The wind up pitch on the way. Ruin that kid's life. He comes center. The pitch. Swung on. Back. And Cal Ripken's about to hit a home run. Make it 2 5. Ooh, get the fuck off my plate, you fucking bitch. He's set. Cut to the plate. A swing. Another strike. That's working for us. Looks like a lefty. 0-2. Into the motion and the pitch. Swinging. Oh, yeah. And popped up. Billy? Got it. Fires it over. Kids are terrified of the ball. Guys, for anybody who's new, we should just pin a message. These are the worst players in the game. When we picked our team, we basically did math on who was the worst possible team that could be drafted. And this is them. 
spark Cali. Cats on my block, they stay wild. Here's the throw home. on the island and sell you the phone dollar. Niggas walking around with gold teeth and old beef. It's no Heidi Thurman comes to the plate. Runners on first and third. Then what's Kenny doing here? He's statistically one of the worst players in the game. Like Kenny's only thing that's good is his secret stat. Target goes up, back to the plate. His secret stat is one of the only things that's good, but it, it doesn't show up in his stats. I didn't even know about his secret stat. It's that. And the pitch. His secret stat is that he recovers stamina faster than anybody else in the game. Into the wind -up. I didn't know that. Bob. Which is also kind of fucking ableist. <laughs> that, that, that the kid who's sitting down gets more stamina back. I, I feel really weird about that. Um, Here's the motion. A 3 2 pitch. Looped up. Jumping in the air. That's wild, Billy. Here's the throw to second. This one's gonna That's wild, Marky. Goes for the diving catch. They score the run. Tosses it over to second. Pig pie. Everybody jump on. The throw to third. Ronnie. Gonna get over his head. And it's out of play. Brings in the run. Liz Kinghorn comes to the plate. They have a runner on second. One out. He comes center. And the throw. What are they doing? Throwing? Guys, I don't know how much clearer I can make this. The game has errors. The number of errors you have goes up when you have bad stats. I have the kids with the worst stats in the game. Of like the 50 players you can select... The players I have on the field right now are all the worst. So they make an unfathomable amount of errors. Like watch, she won't catch this. And then she'll fall, and then she'll di be dizzy, throw a bad pitch, now he's gonna drop this. Okay, he actually made a play. Takes the stretch, here's the pitch, the wing. That's a home run. Guide to left. Holy Back fuck, we're top. And crushes one toward South Africa. But why choose the worst? Because I'm very good at the game. And if I don't play it like this, I'll just wipe everybody. And this is more fun. Into the windup and delivers. The swing. A bouncing ball. Two like, in the history of this game, I'm going to tell you right now, no one ever picked these kids. Like, when we were playing this game as kids, no one picked these children. This is probably the first time they've ever been played on a team together. From the stretch and the offering, ball one. Into the motion, the pitch. Okay, that's fair. Get on your wheels. Come on, Kenny. I cannot believe I'm losing this game. I cannot believe I am losing this game. After hitting three fucking home runs. And popped up. Lost sight of that one. It's so high. Secure the thing. Like, I, I cannot believe this. Into the motion. Here's the pitch. That's got to be a ball. That was ball one. Looked like she was trying to hit a bird or something. One and no. Song name is Simon Says by Feral Mosh. This is the remix with Luck, so. Into the wind up. The one, one pitch. It's going to be a strike. Strike two. Yep. One and two. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. If the pinch indicator is 90% out, it'll just be a strike if there's any part of it in, in hard mode. I hate you, Annie Frazier. Big D, I need you. I need... I, Big D, I just need you. Oh, my God. Like a fucking beacon of hope. Bounce off that fence. Reese. Reese. I fucking need you right now. Juice yourself! Hits the ground. He's caught in a pickle. He's gone. We're fucking back! Loving that. That's little fish baseball, baby! That's little fish baseball! Fuck you, Orioles! Fuck you! That's little fish baseball! We're a good baseball team! Sister Sally bossing him around.
They have a runner on second, two out. Nina, Nina, you can't strike me out. From the windup, the delivery. Swing. Yeah, look at <laughs> we have pay money while we just chilling on chilling on second base. <laughs> Here's the wind up and the offering. Ball one, one and one. He's actually carrying my team though. The one one pitch. Ball two and count two and one. Here's the wind up. The two one pitch. Steal with Big D? A three, two pitch. That's a fucking walk. Yes! Now that kid has Woo! Who's up? At runners on first and second. Two Nosh, I know you can't hit. But I just need one suicide squeeze that you outrun right now. Into the wind -up. Here's the pitch. Swinging. Squeeze it! Squeeze it! He's out. At Paco Kaufman comes to the plate with nobody out. Here's the wind up and delivery. Holy fuck, it's only the third inning? <laughs> this game has been insane. He throws it. That one. From the stretch, fire. Come on. The swing. All right, all right. Let's play some defense. Let's play some defense. Let him get settled. Nice. Let him get settled. Let Big D play. Cal Ripken's hitting 600 on the season. Jesus Christ. Who's letting this grown-ass man play with these children? He's ready now. And the delivery. Get him off my fucking baseball field. Into the wind -up and the delivery. Swinging. Oh, shit. A bouncing ball. Ronnie? Ronnie. And he goes after it. The throw to first base. Stay. That's an out. For the love of God, Sydney. Okay, nice and easy, guys. Throw is a hopper. Stay on first. He fires it to first. It's all right, Sydney. It's okay. <sighs> Got away from you. Another error. It's okay. It's another error. We have a few of them today. We have a few errors. A few dozen. In three innings. There's no way. Kimmy. 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 I need a fucking miracle. You need to run, Kimmy. Easy play for her. Easy play. Easy play. I'm pulling my fucking hair out. Kimmy steps in with nobody out. All right, Kimmy, come on. Give me one to the outfield, kid. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, Kimmy. Get on your fucking horse. Run, Kimmy. Run, Kimmy. Get off my field. Sound. From the windup and the throw. High and inside. She tried the corner on me. And the count is 1-0. and All right, Margie. Come on, kid. The stretch and delivers the right one. The stretch, the 1-1 one, one pitch. <laughs> From the wind-up and the pitch. That's all, folks. Oh, Take the stretch and the delivery. Swing. Yeah, baby. That's a play. Come on, bump into each other. And I'm running. And the run. Way to go, Sid! Oh, God. Kenny. Kenny. I need you, baby. What do you say? One time. Here's the motion and deliver. It's going to be a strike. Runner on first, two out. It's just impossible because you can't even, like, hit outside the strike zone. Here's the wind up, the delivery. going to be a strike. Low and outside. 
Bowling for dollars. One and one. Here's the motion. The one one pitch. A swing. Oh my god. Where was my bat? How is that not a hit? The one two pitch. Ball two. And the count is two and two. From the stretch and the delivery. A swing. Yes, yes, yes. Grounder to short. Oh my god, their kids are so good. Left. Their kids are so fucking good at baseball. Feeling about this. He comes center. Here's the pitch. Swing. Catch that. Throw it to first. That's like every kid on my team. The target goes up. That's to the plate. Into the motion and the pitch. One on. Oh. Into the wind up and the pitch. Swing. Thank you, Jesus. He set the pitch. Save for two fucking home run jacks. Kenny's pitching a game right now. Fuck this bitch, Kenny. Jacker. Get off my fucking field. Take their stretch. Pitch on the way. That's a foul. 0 and 1. I need you on base. I need you on base, Reese. You've actually been a fucking carry. And the throw. Reese! He's out of and Annie Frazier. Annie Frazier. Into the motion. And Our designated the fucking hitter. Okay, all right, it's an out. She's out. Big D, I need it. From the stretch and delivered. High ball one. And the count is one and oh. For the kids. Dial it in. Dial it in, Big D. From the windup, she delivers. Swing! Strike one! That was a bit surprising. One and one. Come on, Big D. Target goes up. The one one hit. A swing. Come on, Big D. A bit surprising. One Big D, I need you, please. Please! He's ready. And the pitch. A swing. Oh, no, Big D. He's out. Trying so hard. Wow, that was right in the middle of the fucking strike zone. He winds, cuts to the plate. on. Kenny is playing out of his mind right now. Kenny is playing out of his fucking mind right now. He's unconscious. Ready now. And the delivery. A swing. Looped up. Billy? Jump. Got it. Yes, Billy! That's why Billy's the catcher. That's why Billy's the catcher. He's so good as a catcher. And the pitch. From the windup, the pitch. A swing. Chopper to third. Oh He's my out. god, no please. Blood. Fires across the first thing. Cal is 0 for 2 for today, and it's making me terrified. It over to second. Cut it off. Get that one. Thing. And he dropped it. This is the same thing that happens every time, and then they hit a home run. Ready now, and the delivery. Ball. Into the motion, he throws it. And that's it. Ronnie. Oh. 
I'm tracking them. The wind up fire. Swung on. How far off was I? No fair. Here's the pitch. If that's a strike. That was ball one. She tried. It was almost a strike. And the count is one and two. He is ready. The one, two, pitch. A swing. Third strike. Oh, my God, bro. You get him every time. How far off was I on that? I got to see what the next batter. <laughs> Look what you did to Ronnie. And now it's... Oh, I was too high. He's set. Here's the pitch. Swung on. Oh, yes. He might get there. He's Billy Nosh. And I'm running. He's out. Kimmy, that's it. Kimmy's not the best. Oh, good. But has a pretty good throw. Two out. Kimmy? Watch out. Here comes trouble. Can you just give me a home run, Jack? It'd be so cool of you. Ball one. One and zero. She kicked. Hey, Robert. Hey! Okay. So if he's been saving her good pitches, I see. Takes her stretch and the delivery. A swing. Right three. She goes down. Jesus Christ. Last, last Kenny, I need you to just get us out of this and then we can win. We can win. Marky, Marky, you're running the wrong way. Marky, Marky, Marky! Now that's what I call togetherness. He winds and the delivery. He winds and delivers. The wing. From the wind up, Rosen. The All right. We we need a strikeout right here, Here's Kenny. And that's next And he has fans. Way to go, baby. Way to go. Way to go. Atta, baby. It's a boy. The delivery. Swing. Oh. I love you, Kenny. If you can get us out of this game. Delivery. Kenny, throw that fucking... From the line to Paint that corner. Ball one. Kenny, I need that to be a strike, kid. I need that to be a fucking strike, kid. And he's baby! The A 10 strikeout game is actually fucking ludicrous in a six inning game. Put her in the Fucking coffin, kid. To the plate. Another one down. And another one bites the dust. <laughs> I am. Marky, we need one home run and we're out of here. You can't run, so you gotta go yard. A swing and a foul ball. So many foul tips. The wind up, he delivered. That was ball one. One and one. The stretch. Here's the pitch. One on. The right. And the count is one and two. Here's the wind and the throw. Ball two. <laughs> this kid has too much gumbo grease on his hands. Target goes up. Here's the pitch. Ball three. Walk, Marky Dubois. Do it. Fucking do it. Kick, kick, and the pitch. <gasps> you gotta walk. Wait. Woo! Okay, now we have a potential double play, though. And if they get a special bat, we lose. So we have to be very careful. No, we gotta go power, because it's Marky. Ready now. The delivery. The swing. The <gasps> Damn, bat. Into the wind up, the pitch. Swing. Oh my god, just jack it. 
Here's the motion, the delivery, yes, third strike. Watch me flip my style like dice. Yes, I punch shots on Baja bikes. I'm down with my man Tony Hunt. The target goes up. And and the count is 0 and 1. She kicks and delivers. Oh my god, it's double play. Marky, please! Marky, please! Slide! Slide! And Reese Worthington has been a killer for us. That's a ball. Ball one, and the count is one and oh. Take your stretch, pitch on the way. The swing. Yes, yes, yes. Just one drop, just one time. Yes, Kenny, run, run, run. Fuck, 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 fuck. Sarah Maxwell comes to the plate. That's the kind of hitter she is, digging in and determined. Here's the motion, he throws it. The wing. Billy, Billy, Billy. He's got it. Great defense, Billy. That's my son. That's my son. He said, fire. In my book. From the wind up, he throws it. Ball one. Thank you for the raid. Delivery. Appreciate you. Hope you had a good stream. All right. We can't throw a bunch of special pitches, but we can throw a few, like the spitball. Give me juice. Give me the juice. No juice. I'm fucked. It's over. We lost. Into the motion. Throws it. One on. What? Put that axle grease on there. And the delivery. Cheat. Three up, three down. Annie Frazier, now is the time. Now is the time. One jack, one home run. I hate you. I hate you. Target goes up, the pitch. A swing. Oh my god, Annie Frazier. That is her power stroke. Why does she have so many points in hitting? I need to talk to the developer of this game and know why they made this character like this. I've determined the optimum swing. Annie is all contact and no power. What does that mean in backyard baseball? Contact? She can't get it past a fucking pitcher! A swing foul. Oh and one. Isn't she like an insane bunter? Is that it? She's Is that what I've been missing? That she just well bunts well. every time? What the fuck is the point of that? Swung on. Foul one back. And the count is one and two. You need to set your stance, you doinker. Bro, I've heard this so many times. I've literally heard so many fucking Annie Fraser apologists be like, you gotta click with your right click. You gotta set your stance. You gotta talk nice to her. You gotta fucking use a grounder. You gotta... She sucks. You're idiots. Shut up. Look at Big D just hitting fucking bricks to the fucking outfield. Absolutely hitting darts. Saving the fucking season. One absolute... Fucking dick rip Jack after the next. And makes the triple. That's the kind of gusto that's gonna win this game for us. Exactly. Ronnie Dog stepped in, ready for action. Spot is great to have in the field. Runner on third, one out. <laughs> Takes her stretch. Yeah, she's a batting specialist who only bunts. Do you even hear yourselves? Yeah, her batting specialty, she shits her pants. Oh, wow. Thank you. Can't wait to use that. One and one. 